little low. So, um, from last time, I died, right? I had that high elf mage and I died. And I'm always kind of annoyed at uh, one thing with my mages, which is I can never seem to find resist confusion and resist blindness. And it's easy to get things that cure blindness. Uh, pretty much any of the cure potions do that. Any of the curing items. It's also not too bad to get cure confusion. But the problem is, like, enemies will spam darkness spells. Right? And that's super obnoxious. Because it's like every round you're blind again. And sometimes it can, like, lead to a, like, cascading failure. Like a... A downward spiral where you know you just can't get away unless you have like a staff of teleport or something and then even then like you kind of have to leave the area like whatever was spamming that you can't deal with it so anyway I got this idea um, whatever look at the other starting classes or starting races for mages and I was looking through the list and um, what I realized Something I should have realized years ago, probably. Um, is uh, dwarves start with um, like they have a racial uh, blind? Jeez, <laughs> words are not working for me today. They have resist blind as a racial, so they just always resist blindness. So my thought was, well, half of the problem is already solved with them. You just need to find resist confusion, and you're good. Plus, there's this whole big middle part of the game where, like, everything's throwing darkness at you and blinding you constantly. Um, where you're when you're trying to actually find the good items, like the ego items that are going to have those resistances, right? And so I was like, so why don't I play a dwarf? And then I looked into it a little bit more and realized that, like, they require way less XP than a high elf mage, which is the other problem I have with playing a high elf mage is they just it, it's so much of a grind to level them up. So I made a dwarf mage and I started playing offline and things were going pretty well. And um, you know, I, I kind of wish I'd recorded it, but I didn't. Um, leveled pretty fast and now I'm level, level 30 as a dwarf mage. So I'm giving that a go. And I actually did really, I found some a really neat assortment of artifacts like I have resist acid electricity fire cold poison light dark sound shard and nexus I'm only missing nether chaos and disenchantment um, I don't need resist fear and I don't need resist stun because those I looked those up those both affect uh, warriors dwarf pasta dough with pure pureed chili peppers exactly Fox so uh, fear, if, if you're afraid, it makes you like a little bit worse at um, casting spells, but uh, it's not a huge difference. And it makes it so that you can't melee attack. Not a big deal for us. If we're afraid, we can teleport away or use spells or something. Um, stun just reduces your two hit and your damage. Don't really care about that. We can just use spells. So that left blindness and confusion. Blindness was already covered by the racial. So then I found um, an artifact weapon that uh, protects against confusion. And then the, the sort of like final piece in the puzzle was to find something of hold life. And that was actually really hard. Um, the, so the other drawback to dwarf, dwarven mages compared to high elf is high elves can see invisible as their racial. So I did have to find a ring of sea invisible and I'd love to replace that ring with like like I'd like to have some other item that does sea invisible and then put something good where that ring goes like there's rings of speed um be awesome anyway so then I also needed free action which I ended up getting on multiple items and then I kept them which is good because I was able to like play around with my build as a result of that so I ended up uh, this, the flail tortilla, the, the tortilla flail, um, that is where I get my, I get plus two speed from it, which is amazing. But that's not all. Uh, it gives me, uh, protection from confusion, which is huge. And I got that 
relatively early on. I got it on dungeon level 23. So that was that was huge. Like I knew as soon as that dropped that this character was, you know, going to make it further than my typical character. Um, and then like I found this Ring of Resist Poison. Um, this maybe isn't the best. Uh, like so, I also have a Ring of Int plus four. It would kind of be better in that slot, but I really wanted the resistance. And I'm kind of farming stat potions anyway, so my natural int can still go up quite a bit. So I don't necessarily need that ring. Um, so I'm wearing this uh, Ezer amulet, amulet of Devotion, which gives sustained life force. It also does sustained wisdom. Oh, the oh, so no, no, the other other thing is it does sus, uh, resist light and dark. So I wouldn't, I don't really need either of those resistances because I can't be blinded. However, if I run into any enemies that deal those as damage types instead of just the status effect, it's nice to have the resistance. Plus, it makes my light bigger. So the Amulet of Devotion is really good. That's actually a, a priestly item, right? Because it's sustained wisdom and it's plus two to wisdom, but it's fantastic for mages too, it turns out. Um, what, other, what else is interesting? So I also found this really early on. I found this, look at that, on dungeon level five. This was, a, this was another thing that made this character really easy to play. Um, the drawback to Dwarven Mages is they have much less mana than the High Elf. Uh, however, when I was on dungeon level five, I was only like level six and I had something that could deal 150 damage and recharge every 50 turns. That was, uh, that was just a, a huge, that was a huge boon. Um, and that's my sound resistance comes from that. Um, what else? Eventually found the file. I had, I, I still have a lamp of, um, of sea invisibility, uh, which I used for a long time. I got, um, so like if I wanted to swap out this ring of sea invisible, I would have to go back to the other light source, which isn't permanent. And I, I, I could still do that. Like it's, I haven't decided if this is exactly the right build. Um, this one, uh, so my cloak does resist shards and shards are nasty. This is really nice to have that resistance. Um, and then I've got this leather shield to make sure. So of resistance means that it covers uh, fire, cold, lightning, and acid. So I've got my sort of like base low level resistances covered by that shield at all times. And then you want to have sustain intelligence as a mage. So that's where my iron helm of intelligence comes in and it gives me plus two intelligence and sustain intelligence. Um, what else is interesting here? So then I've got my gloves of free action, uh, typical thing. Uh, they, they don't do this anymore, but in older versions of Ang Band, a mage would lose um, lose spell points by wearing gloves, by covering their hands, because they, they weren't dexterous enough now or something. Unless they were gloves of free action. So the game has a lot of good, like, gloves of free action as just like a thing that spawns in the stores. So that was relatively easy to pick up. And that's typical on like all characters, so you're gonna see those. And then Boots of Stability, Resistance to Nexus, which is the thing that scrambles your stats. And also as a side benefit, Feather Falling. But Feather Falling is like, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. But yeah, so that means like the entire first matrix here on the left, covered. And then like, um, Chaos Resistance would be nice, but it's it, like, that's a really late game thing. And then the other thing is I could have ESP, but I would need to play around with my build a bit more. Uh, oh, where is my character? Right there. Oh, there's a oh yeah, there's. I wish I could buy that potion of intelligence. Oh yeah, the other, 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 other thing recent, the most recent thing that with this character is I found this spell book, Resistances of Scarabibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibib
that only counts as one level of resistance. But if you're wearing that, you're wearing those items of resist cold and drink the potion of resist cold, now you take almost no damage from cold. And then there's one step above that, which is immunity. Um, right now, if my character got attacked by like a fire spell or like a fire attack, these spell books could burn up. Uh, like anything that's made out of paper, like my scrolls could burn up. If I got attacked by an electricity attack, my rods could break, uh, that sort of thing. But if you have like immunity to fire, those spells won't burn up anymore. Then you only have to worry about them getting stolen, which the remedy for items getting stolen is raise your decks. Decks out for stolen items. Um, anyway, so character is doing pretty good. Um, my most recent spell was resistance, which is still way too hard for me to cast. Excuse me. But the nice, like, in a few levels, it'll be more reasonable to cast it. And that, that spell is perfect for stacking your basic uh, hot, cold, electricity, and acid resistances on top of whatever your equipment bonuses are. And, and then, uh, then you're kind of set. All right, what's our max depth here? Um, when we recall into the dungeon, we'll, we'll go down to level 35. So 35 is a particular depth that we want because that's where the permanent stat raise potions are. All right, and I think we have, yeah, I think we're ready to just go back into the dungeon. The, the reason I'm not fasted at the moment, I have several pluses to speed. I think I, I think I have plus two, but right now I'm burdened because I'm carrying too much junk. And so I really like the, the two stats I want to raise the most right now are strength so that I won't be encumbered anymore uh, and constitution so that I'll have way more hit points. My, like, obviously I also want to raise my intelligence, but I've already raised it so much that it's not a big deal. Like it's already in a good place. Like. I'm, a, I'm not going to leave the stat grind until it's maxed, but it's it's not the priority at the moment. Strength strength is my number one priority for stats at the moment, and followed by constitution, then intelligence, and then wisdom, just because we need to eventually raise it, too. Alright, so there you go. That's an uh, introduction into what has happened with this character you guys missed because I played offline like a goof. Um, so this level... So my level feeling here, this place does not seem too risky. Uh, it's kind of a weird level. It's like a destroyed level. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so what I was explaining, I just a brief, a brief thing. So uh, that leftmost matrix, all the rows are blue. That means I have resistances in all of those, and the ones that are white means that I don't have it. So I have all of, I have all of your normal basic ones: acid, elect, fire, and cold. I also managed to find. Um, uh, was it poison resistance which is hard but super valuable and then I sort of as a side effect of all the resistance items I found I got lucky and got light and dark um, not a big deal if you don't have those normally but it's sort of nice to have sound and shard can be nice so it's cool to get those two out of the process nexus really important um, chaos I wish I had but it's super late game um, but the, the, the big, 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 big thing was I switched to playing Dwarven Mages because they start with Resist Blindness. And so I just had to find something of Resist Confusion, and now I can, like, always cast spells. Like, they can't take my spell casting away now. Um, so I have this artifact weapon that does that. And then the most recent resistance I lucked out and found was something of Hold Life. I found an amulet of devotion that gives me hold life. So 
Uh, and then I have like the normal stuff like free action and see invisible. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys, I have a weapon that does telepathy, but I, uh, I already left him. So these guys breathe shards. And the thing about shards is they cause cuts and the cuts accumulate and pretty soon you've got like really deep wounds from those dickheads. Um, let's try to enchant something. Oh, look at all those dragons. Shit. I'm trying to press you. This one. Oh, there's a mature dragon. Ugh, mature dragons are they're strong. I really don't want to fight that mature dragon. I can avoid it. I'm just here for the potions. The stat potions in particular. Oh, what did, you just destroyed, oh, the floor potion, I didn't care about it. I just kind of wanted to get out of there. Those hounds are, they're really not worth it, worth it for my character to fight them. They come in these gigantic packs and they're just, they're just obnoxious. There's a water hound here. Water hounds have been breathing acid on me. And destroyed so much of my gear. Water troll grunts with pain. Okay, let's probe this guy and find out what he's really weak to. Um, hurt by bright light, but, res but resists rock remover and cold. Does not resist acid. So, if I cast Bright Light on him, yeah, it seems to do okay damage. I don't know if this is the best way to damage them. Lightning Bolt might actually be superior. Die already, dude. Trolls with all these hit points. You want to fight too? What if I just melee you? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Okay. My melee weapon actually really, really hits these guys hard. Like, it kind of makes sense. Like,. It's designed for killing evil creatures, right? Yeah, so it has Slay Evil, and it's branded with fire. Oh, fire against a water troll. That probably helps a lot. Um, Marble Ring of Intelligence is nice. Uh, we're not gonna grab it. Oh, what is Cap of Seeing? Oh! Yeah, so finding a cap of seeing is another way to prevent blindness. Stupid earth hounds. My, uh, oh no, wait, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I'm still charging.
Is this like a dragon nest? I feel like this is like a small level mostly full of dragons. You, you know some of them words? This game's really complicated. I played it a lot, a lot, a lot when I was a teenager. It's the only reason I know it at all. Um, what was I, oh yeah, I was gonna zap visual location and magic mapping. Just handled that rod. as old as you are. Um, so there was, there was Rogue, right? And then there was Moria. So like, so Rogue, Rogue spawned NetHack and Moria as roguelike games. And then Moria turned into Angband. I don't know if that little bit of history is useful. Oh, Silent Watcher. Have I already probed this guy? Let's see what we can recall. Yeah, I know everything about him. Hurt by Bright Light and Rock Remover. Um... Okay. Neither of those do interesting damage, though. Oh, I don't want to stick around for that. He just summoned a bunch of shit that I don't want to deal with. Your dragon. I should just probably get off this level. Wasn't there hack before net hack? Yeah, and there... I think there was a U Moria between Moria and Nang Band. But there's kind of like two... There's like two families of roguelike games. like the NetHack family and the, the Angban family. Oh. We don't we don't make jokes in this channel name. It's not funny. Try to keep things pretty serious around here. Starting with Clunktember, or Clunktober, I mean. Yeah, uh, Fox is our resident joke. Sneak is too good now. For a lot of levels as a dwarf, uh, I didn't have to worry about waking things up because they just, they all woke up on their own. This level just has junk on it. Okay, I take that back. We've got an aluminum rod. Along. Uh, I went over that way, you dummy. Oh, big old dumb pants.
Well, that was a neat weapon. So, uh, these, the staves of Starlight are kind of fun, but I never pick them up. It's like, by the time they start spawning, I have way better ways of dealing with enemies that are weak to light. Brackets doors. No, doors are plus signs and apostrophes. And open. Um, hang on a second. Yeah, plus signs are doors. Um, angle brackets are staircases, if you mean the like less than and greater than. Are black holes for bots? What do you mean? So this one this one here is down or sorry, an up an up staircase because it's less than. So it takes you to the floor less than this floor. See that guy? I just killed him. Sometimes I'd be like that. Oh, this fucker moving fast. Gold. I was referring to the early runs the other day where the bot died of starvation running back and forth in one room. Yeah. Some of the bot bugs are kind of annoying. Now that I understand, like, a lot of what's wrong with the bot is the menus changed. And I don't know that I have the mental fortitude to go through and check all of the different ways that the bot does input to make sure that the menu matches. Yeah, I don't have much experience with NetHack, but it's, I think it's probably more popular, or at least more well-known. Yeah, this, this dungeon level would have bupkis on it. Uh... I don't really want to go deeper than 35 right now, so I want an up staircase. I want uh, an MAE, and then I want to zap that rod, zap, I said zap it, zap that other rod, and then hear a door burst open. Oh, we've got an Etten, but he's still sleeping. Ettens are strong. We've got a mature dragon, a ninja. Oh shit, ninjas are actually kind of powerful. You gotta watch them. They'll get away from you quick. In this, I feel like the music's maybe a little too loud. Let me turn it down. I, I, I don't know if I was talking over it very well. If you tried NetHack many years ago as well, but did not care for it at all. NetHack. Uh, seems like it's kind of like a memory test. Like, you you have to learn something new about the game every death. I don't know, Squid, Squid has ascended in NetHack before. He would be a good person to ask about NetHack.
because I'm a dwarf, I'm naturally good at digging. Like, I just get a bonus to digging. But then I'm trying to dig through the granite, so it's taking forever. Well, I'm getting interrupted by trolls, as not help. Yeah, and actually, they implemented mouse clicks. So, I used to just play it in a terminal, but for capturing it for OBS, it's a little bit easier to use the SDL front end. And the SDL front end does notice when you click, and it does affect the game. And I actually wish I could turn it off <laughs> and just be completely keyboard driven. But yeah, um, it's not the most ergonomic keyboard game. Like, to do movement, you need to use the 10 key. Um, because you need, you, like, have to be able to move in diagonals. Uh, so I'm constantly moving my right hand between the 10 key and the home row to do things. Because of the way the, the commands are laid out. It just kind of works out that you kind of need to flip between them all the time. See, he envelops me in flames, which means he has a chance to destroy my items. So I'm going to teleport away from him. Keyboard, yeah. Yeah, it kind of has to be, given how old it is. Although, you know, I say that, but there's a uh, Nintendo DS port. Yeah, there's. I could be playing with graphics. I just. Like, I've tried to play it with graphics before, and I don't recognize the game. Like, unfortunately, like, all of my, like, visual memory on how to parse what's going on is based on these graphics. So if I played it. Um, if I played it with the, the tile graphics, I would be so lost. It would be like playing a brand new game. These wear enemies, I, have, I feel like I have to be careful with them. I can get away from you. Oh, this level just has junk on it. So, down at the bottom where it says LF52, 5 is the enemy ratings from 1 to 9, 9 is deadly, 1 is nothing. And then the next number is the item quality. And so it's like a two. Probably not gonna have the potions I want. Now, I still could find the potions I want here because like somebody could drop them when they die. Algroth. Um, I don't think I've probed your ass yet. Let's see. Okay, so it's not vulnerable to anything, but acid and lightning are both good attacks. I seem to recall these guys hit really hard. They're not hitting me too hard though. 
That actually went really smoothly. So I do all these different detection spells. I detect traps, doors, and stairs with one spell. Um, I detect enemies with another spell. Uh, and then I do detect treasure, which detects like objects. So all those asterisks on the ground are really good. The diamonds in the walls are fine, like that's money, but what I want to go for are the red asterisks. Um, Cause those are random items that dropped. And then I also use a thing called magic mapping, which tells me where all the walls are. And the, like, it's nice to know where the walls are, but that one's definitely the most, like, optional of the bunch. You can get by just fine without it. Mostly nice to know where the walls are when you have to turn and flee from an enemy. I can definitely see how Diablo was inspired by the buy this but this is so much more complex i kind of wish someone would make a d1 mod and flesh it out a huge amount to be more like this oh um yeah this game is really complex especially for the era it was developed in Decompilation of D1? Oh, interesting. I don't know that. Oh, this is our ninja buddy. Let let's probe him. He only ha he doesn't have that many hit points, but I remember them being quite deadly. <laughs> A humanoid clothed in black. Who knows with blinding speed? Oh, sorry. Who moves with blinding speed? This evil creature normally found at depths of 1600 feet and moves at 2x normal speed, which is 2x faster than you. He has an armor rating of 72 and an average life rating of 85. Uh, you have 65% chance to hit such a creature if you can see him. Kill is worth dark blue text I can't read, 320 points for a 30 level character. Um, let's see, he resists bright light, rock remover, and does not resist acid so acid is currently like my go-to spell for killing things so i just kind of check like oh does acid hurt them okay i'll spam acid a little acid trip i actually have two let's see so i have where is it I have this spell detect monsters, M-A-B. That's the, M is cast mage spell, A is the book, and then B is the spell of the book. Thank you for the McClunky. Um, oh yeah, and so then in a different book, I have reveal monster, that must be book three. And reveal monster will, re will also show me things that are normally invisible. Like those poltergeists wouldn't have shown up if I hadn't have done it that way. Uh, let's probe this guy. Oh, oh, my, oh, my tags are out of date. Oh, gross. Let's fix that. Um, We wouldn't want to have bad tags on our stream. Oh. What? Twitch let me add that tag? 
That's so normally when you try to add a tag like the one I just added, uh, Twitch will tell you it violates community guidelines. But I guess that one's fine because they didn't flag it. <laughs> hey Tonic. I'm I'm using my rod of probing to probe these guys. It's it's it totally makes sense. These tags are precisely what they should be. And this Eton. It's hard to kill. Are there donkey enemies? I don't think I've seen any donkeys. Sadly, the only streamer in the category. <laughs> oh yeah, I see what you're saying, Neen. Yeah, there's totally donkeys in this game. Oh, okay, that was really bad. A demonologist? Uh, no, I want MC. No, I want M. What is this spell? MC. What? MB? Oh, MBF. Let's teleport self. And our Etten friend came back to give us a hug wanted more probing. Potions and resist heater. They're they're useful, but they're like some of the first potions you ever encounter. They're kind of they're not useful for my character. They'd be useful for a character that doesn't have spells. Oh, let's fuck this guy's shit up. We want to firebolt him. He's undead. He wants to drain all our stats and shit. Even though I have hold life, like, I don't trust it. Like, I kill undead with extreme prejudice. Uh, who are you? Uldor the Accursed? Uh... Hope you enjoy this probing. A thousand hit points? I promise he does not need a thousand hit points. That That is excessive. An evil and cunning man from the east. Having once sworn allegiance to the sons of Feanor, it was Oldor's treachery that turned the tide of the battle of unnumbered tears in Morgoth's favor. This evil creature is normally found at depths of 1400 feet and moves at 1.0x normal speed, which is the same as you. He has an armor rating of 84 and a life rating of 1000. You have a 60% chance to hit such a creature in melee if you can see it. Killing this creature is worth 560 points for a 30th level character. He may carry a single good object. Uh, he resists bright light, rock remover, but not acid. Okay, cool. It takes quite a while to see intruders. Oh, he summons. Yeah, he's he's the reason somebody summoned earlier. There he is. He's weak to acid. And we're gonna activate sound on him too. Oh, he didn't like the sound. Summon his buddies. <laughs> Listen, I don't make the rules, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's it's something like that. <laughs> um, yeah, my um, my gold dragon scale mail. Uh, 
the dragon scale mails, I'll give you the that type of dragon's breath weapon as a special ability. And gold dragons are elemental sound. If it makes sense to call sound an elemental. Yeah, there's no there's no contract saying that I can't do uh, federally illegal drugs that are legal in my state. So I think I think we can we can say that that's probably true, Fox. Yeah. If that was confusing and convoluted, that's because that was a reference to it conversation we were having earlier. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Elevation is high, too. I kind of want this ring. I don't actually think the ring of soul keeping is useful to me, but I'm going to grab it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Boy Scouts of America did teach us that they used to have an ad in the 90s where they said that the best thing to get high on is a mountaintop. I think they meant go climb an adventure, but it just sounded like they were saying go smoke some weed on top of a mountain. Hydras are nasty, but they drop a lot of money. Impact Hound. I forgot about Impact Hounds. I think they breathe inertia. Like, <laughs> this game has some really abstract concepts of, of damage types. Like, whoever was on the committee that designed all of the hounds, like, I want to go back in time and, and, like, make them too busy to accept that job. Now that you mention it, I'm going to go get dressed and test this hypothesis. <laughs> hey, I just leveled. Level 31. The young dragon dies. We are now a conjurer. Uh, I don't think we can learn any spells, though. Ring of Constitution, that's not a bad thing, but we don't need any of this shit and we can't sell stuff. We have selling disabled as a birth option. Uh, that's kind of it, I think. I think this dungeon has run its course and we're ready to try a new one. This is an unfortunate part of Angband where you do kind of have to grind in a few places. Like I'm basically just grinding until I'm full stats. There could be something, yeah. Why would they, why would they tell a lie? Wait, Cedar Staff of Mapping? Oh, I have a Rod of Mapping. That's why I didn't stack. Oh, who is that? Oh, that's a Mind Flare. I thought that, was, based on the color, I thought that was a unique. LeConte? Would you call me? I have to be careful. This, this is a like 
an enemy situation that could be getting out of hand. If I'm not paying attention to what's going on. Let's fight these Al Gores. It's an inconvenient truth about the game. The enemies, I think the enemy AI might actually be a little bit smarter than the last time I played this. I feel like, I feel like they're better about using cover than they were uh, in the past. And it kind of makes sense, like, the game's been under, not like super heavy active development, but the game's been under development since the 90s. I kind of live near a mountain. There's a mountain in the middle of Portland called Mount Tabor. But I don't know if it really counts as a mountain. But it's a cool little hill. Alright, well that was that was the dungeon folks. We gained a level, but outside of that, it wasn't really much to see. Eleven This place seems terribly dangerous. Yeah, the level feeling here is is not so good. I probably don't really want to stick around on this level, but I kind of wanted, like, with a level seven feeling, there could be something interesting going on. Like, if a vault spawned, that could explain the level feeling. So sometimes it's worth hanging out a little bit when you get a high one like that. Hey, hey Squid. Fancy meeting you here. There's a door burst open. Uh, is that, is that a fucking unique white? It's Uvatha the Horseman? You guys all remember Uvatha the Horseman, right? Normally found at dungeon level 40. Oh, cool. <laughs> a Niv, a Niv is looking forward to your stream, Squid. Man, okay, this this creature is worth almost thirteen thousand experience points for me. <laughs> are, you, are you fighting with a bot? Oh no. I didn't mean to run into Uvatha already. Required. All right, let's probe his ass, just like the tag says. No, why did you tag the? Why did you probe the ghoul? Now I gotta wait for it to recharge. Does it just probe the closest enemy? I thought it was a targeted ability. the speed potion on that too. I wouldn't mind killing Uvoth. Oh. Oh. I was just saying there might be a vault here. 
Isn't I just saying that? Oh, this is a level 7-7 seven, seven level. <sighs> I probably want to leave. Uh, this is probably a level where I'm just going to die if I stick around. Like, as nice as it would be to grab whatever treasures are here, the cold hard reality is it's probably my death is the main thing we'll find. Yeah, Bats of Gorg Gorgoth. Probe them. Probe their ass. And then, uh, recall. So they are weak to... I don't know, we can do anything, but acid will work on them. How did you get to a level beyond your cape? Oh, this level um, spawned out of depth content, which is just a thing that levels do periodically. I, I was actually wondering, I, I'm kind of curious what mathematical formulas that they use for um, things like level generation, because, so they've, they've got their formulas set up so the items and enemies and everything has a native level. Like, let's say a potion's native level is 20. And so that means that once you hit level 20 or deeper, that potion is sort of a, it's a fairly common item. But before you get to that depth, it's not a common item. And it's it's almost a step function. But if you're like one level shy of its depth, you will run into it more often than if you're like five levels shy of its depth. So they, it's, it's like also kind of continuous, but asymmetric. It's like an asymmetric bell curve. But the thing is, they don't use floating point math anywhere. So I'm really curious how they, um, like how they implement that kind of thing. Like what their formulas are, are structured like. And the game's open source, so I mean, I could, I could look it up. And I think they've got documentation on it actually, because I think it's something that people tend to want to understand. I'm gonna breathe on you fuckers. I'm gonna breathe my sound all over your ass. And then I cast the wrong spell, and now I'm over here. Cool. Uh, that's that's often how I die in this game, is I fat finger a spell like that. In that specific case, nothing bad happened. I destroyed two of my potions with one breath weapon. You guys are assholes. Just for that, I'm gonna breathe on you a sound. Another ring of escaping. Somebody on Reddit was giving me tips and they said I should make sure and get a ring of escaping. I have like a lot of them now. <laughs> I have five rings of escaping. I don't really get their purpose, but more importantly, I don't have a spare finger to put those rings on right now I need like a different gear but anyway the, like I, I kind of understand what they were getting at like they're they're basically rings of speed uh, that's a, wait what it didn't I see what did it say this guy oh no I didn't probe that guy correctly that's why we teleported away. Okay, so now let's look at Uvatha's summary. Put them on your dick. Wear three rings. Can you wear... Oh, uh, you can only... It's one of those fantasy worlds where you can have one magical ring per, fi per hand. <laughs> They're... Like, they should really be like... Uh, uh, what, do, what do you call things that go on your wrist? Bracelets? Magical bracelets? A tall, black, cloaked ring wraith. He's a master of horsemanship, which is why he's here with his steed. 
Uh, which is not... That's a joke, because I don't... I don't even know if there's horses in this game. There are quadrupeds, though. Net, net hack only lets you have one per hand as well. Yeah, a lot of... Like, that's a common trope. Oh, damn. I was thinking you all bringed out. What? <laughs> you were thinking what? <laughs> Sorry, Fuse. I don't understand. Um, life rating of 1800. Fucking hell. Okay, but let's get to the juicy bit, which is hurt by bright lights, resists rock remover, cold, and poison, but does not resist acid. Oh, blinged. Blinged out. I am, I am very blinged out, uh, but not in the speed stat. Oh god, I'm casting the wrong spell. I gotta... I gotta not cast the wrong spell so much like that. <sighs> we gotta kill this dragon. So where did that guy go? He's gonna find us again in a second. I'm gonna teleport further away. Giant army ants. Let's kill these guys. I think I want to clear out more of this dungeon before I attempt to take on Uvatha. Uh, I might not get a choice in that matter. Wow, Uvatha will find, like, I teleported across the level. Like, this is, this shows you the full expanded map, right? So I was down there where that open paren and that tilde are. That's where I was. I teleported up to this corner and Uvatha followed me the entire diagonal of the map. Uh, very few enemies are capable of that in this game. So that's, like, that's notable. Oh, Catalobopas. Catalobopas? Um, a strange ox like form with a huge head. Oh, there you go. There's the ass. <laughs> this, this, yes. This level I'm on. Uh, here, I'll show you. But can I probe this guy? Can I probe this ass? I can. Okay. So, my level feeling squid. This place seems terribly dangerous, and there is very good treasure here. Cato... <laughs> Cato... Lupus? Oh, there's Uvatha right on cue. place to have teleported to. But this is. He'll be back. They always come back. Well, that was a lot of experience. That was like 13,000 experience. This was a thing in Magic 1 point. It's Katoblupa? Katoblupa? Huh. 
do you get do you get to know enemy HP or is that a mystery how much damage you do each turn oh you can turn on you can you can I don't know when they added the option but you can uh, get the game to tell you how much damage you deal I just don't caddy caddy bleep pasta I'm gonna be right back you guys I just realized I forgot to put part of my dinner in the fridge, so I'm gonna go do that. Battle of Bopas. Um, oh yeah, so the thing, so this game is based on Moria, I was saying before. And in Moria, um, I think you just had to use like, I think you had to look at enemies and, and check their description to find out how healthy they were. And it would just give you descriptions like, you know, the bloodied orc or something. In this game though, um, if you look under where it says SP, like under my character stats on the left, you'll see like this bracketed thing that is the enemy health bar for whatever enemy I have targeted. So that's how I keep track of how much damage I'm dealing. And all of my abilities, like, they'll tell me in the spell books and whatnot what my damage dice are. So like you could figure out like what the, the range is. I didn't mean to pick those up. Kind of don't like the way the quiver works. Um, when the quiver kind of complicated. Oh yeah, browse my spellbook. So like, magic missile deals 9d4 of damage. Or like, stinking cloud does 25 at the, it's a cloud, so it's a, it has a radius. So it does 25 at the center and then it falls off. Probably with an inverse square law or something, I don't know. Um, so you could kind of, figure out your damage but also um, there's an option that I don't personally like to turn on uh, where is it show damage player deals to monsters so there's just a UI option like if you want to see how much damage you're dealing you, that's totally a thing you can turn on I kind of like the immersion of not knowing the exact value I'm kind of weird like that Okay, what? Why are you immune to like everything? You're an elemental. I'm just really surprised. Does not resist lightning. Okay, so we gotta use lightning on this guy. Dead. Deaded. Also, I finally I've had a keyboard for like a decade that had that hasn't been working very well. Like keys keep getting stuck. 
and I finally got a replacement keyboard today. And oh my God, it's so nice to have a brand new keyboard. You guys have no idea. I mean, you might have a perfectly great idea. But... Yeah, um, I was looking for information about the Borg on the official forums and somebody said they had a three hour speed run. I imagine that that's got to be world record. I've had my DAS for a long time, or 10 years hasn't put me up. Well, when, when, when you're hairy like me and you have cats, the hair kind of builds up in there. Oh, and I might have spilled water on that keyboard uh, without like unplugging it and doing anything like 10 or so times. So it's entirely possible that that keyboard is not very good for reasons that are uh, not its fault. Young multi-hued. Uh, these kind of dragons are a problem for me. Uh, I don't... Okay, no, I need to kind of get out of this room, actually. I don't really have a way to deal damage to multi-hued dragons. They resist everything. Um... Yeah, the keyboard I replaced is a mono price. It was just, it was just time <laughs> to replace it because of uh, keyboard abuse. I don't even know the brand on this one. I think it might. I think the brand might be called Cherry. But this one has an aluminum aluminum body. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, and RGB LEDs that strobe. But it's it's got my favorite Cherry. Uh, switches, which is the the red silence. Yeah, I might have been able to fix that keyboard by cleaning it, but I every every time I took off all the keycaps and tried to do some maintenance on it, I was just kind of blown away by how far gone it was. But I think so. One thing was after I don't know after like the second time I spilled water on it, the the backlight stopped working. And that, that annoyed me forever, <laughs> like not having a backlight, because I often use, I often use my computer in the dark. Oh, we, we want to stockpile deep descent. Oh, oh no, no. Is that an ancient multi-hued? That's an ancient, I, I'm out of here. I am not sticking around to fight that. Nope. It, that ancient multi-hued could probably kill me in a single breath weapon. Like, one round, one shot sort of situation. We are on dungeon level 34. Yeah, and we're we're just done. Like, there's probably an artifact. Oh my god, there's probably an artifact. Can I can I avoid that guy? I don't remember what the blues are known for, like what their distinguishing characteristic is. I just know, I just know I tried several and found that the reds, I just love the way the reds feel. It was out of stock at the time, bought the silvers. Oh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm familiar with the silvers. I, I definitely haven't tried all of them. 
Like I did a little bit of homework to figure out that I would like the reds, but it's not like I tried out every single variant. Why does this dungeon floor have to be so nasty? That ancient multi-hued is just gonna fuck my shit up. Oh, and memory moss? Oh my god, I hate memory moss. Memory moss casts amnesia, which causes you to forget the dungeon. I think you can also forget your items. Memory moss is like, absolutely obnoxious. What items do we see right now? items I care about grabbing before I leave. All these items look like shit. If I recall correctly, silvers are kind of like reds with less button travel distance. Mmm. Yeah, so I might like the silvers too then. I like the low activation force for the reds, and I like that they're linear. Like, they don't have the, the bump. I prefer the the buckling spring like the Model M has, but I need to clean mine. This is out of commission until I do. Oh. This floor is dangerous, you guys. Every turn that I stay here, I'm risking death. Why don't I leave? If that ancient multi-hued were awake, it could reach me. Yeah, I'm... Okay, where's, where's the stair? Fuck this. <laughs> I want to live to level 40. Lordy lordy, I'll never make it to 40. Yeah, see, this one's a five by comparison. AKA, I'm a jerk with a really loud keyboard. <laughs> Someone's gotta be a jerk. Okay, two mature dragons and a master thief. Ooh. These dungeon levels are kind of scary. Like, no joke. What a spectacle. Uh, restore mana. That's a really nice potion to find. I want to get away from the Black Knight. He's... Oh, you still are... You stole 4,000 gold off me, fucker. Hey, a cloudy potion of enlightenment. Um, we don't want our soul keeping ring. We do want to go back this way though. Check those items. Kind of. I wish, I wish my equipment worked out so that I could use the telepathy item. Unfortunately, I'd have to give up uh, resist confusion to use it. But telepathy is nice because any any intelligent any creature with intelligence. Uh, you can sense them at all times when you're within range. And the range is pretty decent. So it's like you see them through walls and shit. Yeah, with a mine.
Oh, oh god. Uh... Uh, something showed up. I didn't quite catch what. And it was pretty strong. No, it was a... It, was, it might have been a Nighthawk. I'm not gonna play like the board. Those are the lock. Basically. You know, I should probably probe this guy. down here. Okay. Bulk of them at least. So where'd that... Okay. It's on the screen. Let's see what that bee is. That's a raven. Yeah, some of the, the capital bees are hard to fight for mages. They move fast and deal a lot of damage, but they don't have a lot of hit points. They kind of don't need a lot of hit points because they move fast and do a lot of damage. Huh, they kind of flew away. This level's a 5-3. I'm probably not going to find much of value on this level. You should try out Sill. Um, here, let me give you a link to the manual. The manual for Sill makes it sound really cool, and Lomian started playing it, and he he's really liking it. I, it's the roguelike I want to try out next. It's tempting to read that Potion of Brawn, but it might... It, I have a 1 in 4 chance of it lowering my intelligence. Yeah, you and Lomian can master Sill and then teach me how to play. So, I was actually thinking... So, they said that Sill was designed to be... Uh, They said Sill was designed to be a, a 10 hour playthrough. So I was thinking it's possible it would even make a good speed game. Like, just depending on how it optimizes. Yeah, I've killed several of them now, but every now and then they just, they really get you. Not sure exactly why they are 
kind of variable like that. Oh, fuck. This is a... Wait, what did it steal? No, no. I have more, right? Okay, I have one more rod of magic mapping. I really like those rods. I was using that, you dicks. If I kill it, it'll drop it again. But that means I have to find it. They teleport away after they take your shit. Great hammer of slay undead. Yeah, it's not better than what we have. Rotato? Never heard of it. What? I didn't kill it, did I? This fight is a little bit stressful, so I'm like trying to actually focus a little bit. This was some sort of like rope pit. Oh fuck. There's that many more in there? Jesus. The cool thing is, like, basically every time they drop something, there's a chance that I could get a level appropriate drop. And as you can, as you can tell, these guys have a lot of drops. Oh, look. I'm gonna breathe on you with sound. Oh look, it's a cone attack. <laughs> this is always gonna fail because my weapon is beyond what you can enchant to. Did I get my rod back? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a new wand I haven't seen. Uh, aim the floor. There are five remaining of what? Cold balls? He said cold balls. Uh, blessed. Blessed be the beaked axe. Plus one wisdom, protection from fire. It's not, definitely not better. Like, I don't even know why I checked, because like, this weapon, this weapon is amazing. 
Plus two stealth and speed. Stealth, stealth isn't like that important for this character, but it's kind of nice because it means like, like I can stumble into enemies without waking them up more often. Um, but then it provides resistance from confusion, which is just the like the over-the-top amazing thing for a mage. Well, darn. That guy made off with my rod. Maybe he'll pop up. Maybe my rod will pop up later. That guy comes back. Hopefully my rod pops up. Still got a mature dragon to deal with. Sure, dragon is pretty powerful. Definitely gonna have to be careful with it. These make you vulnerable to cold attacks, but resistant to fire. Makes you hallucinate and gives you butterfingers. <laughs> what? What is it like? You don't get hungry anymore because you're just eating, you're just snacking on butterfingers. Yeah, that's probably what that means. Uh, Nighthawk. That one actually didn't hurt us. Maybe I've like gotten powerful enough that Nighthawks are not a big deal for me anymore. Okay, this is the Mature. So we're going to open by breathing on it. I think we kind of want to keep our distance from it, but not like so far away that it feels inclined to breathe on us. It breathed on us anyway. Ooh, okay. That fight was not as scary as I thought it was going to be. Ah, here's our brigand. Are you... Do you have our rod? Was he holding our rod? I don't think he was holding our rod. A tass? Um, I guess if you like seeded the RNG, maybe you could do a tass. I think that's the hardest thing to control in a game like this is like, you need to like fix the RNG to a particular value in order for a tass to work. But I'm not aware, I'm not aware of such a thing, no. Although, I kind of wouldn't be aware of it. It's not something I would be particularly expert on. <sighs> Might just have to give up my rod. I'll never find that brigand again. These phase spiders, it's kind of nice to kill them quickly before they wake up. Because, oh, here it is. This guy probably has it. So, uh, phase, spider, phase spiders teleport you around all crazy. And it's definitely not like the end of the world that they do it. Fucking asshole. Where did he go now? I think I see him. Um... Oh yeah, getting getting teleported around by the enemies definitely isn't the biggest deal. Uh, but if you can avoid it, like it's a little disorienting. Okay, th I thought one of those was going to be the rod that I was after. Uh, what is there not a? Okay, hold on. Oh, it's a staff. What is it? Oh, is that a... What is it a staff of? 
staff of summoning. Uh, okay, so I summon to summon these enemies on accident. Mature red dragon. I don't want to be exposed in the middle of this room to all those enemies trying to deal with that dragon. There's definitely enemies that if you can take them one on one, they're not too bad. But when you're in a compromised position like that and they show up, they can be bad. And maybe with all my resistances, the red dragon, maybe I shouldn't be that worried about it, but uh, the mature dragons, even if they're not using their breath weapon, they're still pretty bad with their claws and stuff. Okay, does he? No, he didn't. I'm, I've, never, I've never seen that rod again. Not a big deal because I have one other, but you know when you get down to your last rod, you kind of start to wonder if you're gonna run out of rods. I noticed that even though I was doing royalty free music, Twitch muted part of the VOD and said it was content ID match. Like, the system that everybody's agreed to use for this shit is so broken. bad item but I magically stay full sometimes I don't know how to use my rod I didn't look into the details I just it just told me it muted parts and, uh, and had like red on the rubber. That's all I saw. Wow. What are we, what are we dealing with here? A young dragon and a mature dragon. I don't know if I want to stay on this floor anymore. I feel like, I feel like I checked like so many items and it's only a three. It's not like there's going to be a lot of good shit here in the first place. a way to get your, your constitution drained. What did I pick up? <laughs> Another ring of escaping. I'm going to have to start dropping those. Oh, hello. Uh, I really didn't like that situation. Okay, where's my staircase? Actually... Should I just go back to town? I can drop off my three scrolls of deep descent in town. Oh, and I don't need that. I don't need a rod of polymorph. That's garbage. That's just taking up. Um, and I don't need uh, quite so many spell books. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Okay, next time I have a good level feeling, I need to drink the Potion of Enlightenment. I forgot I had that. That would have been good to drink on one of those previous levels. I should... I don't know what I should do with this teleport level scroll. It, it, like, I'd like to hang on to it, but my house is really full because... 
Well, I guess I'm hoarding. I guess that's why it's full. I don't think I need these wands of lightning bolts. I think my other abilities have surpassed that, the usefulness of that. Drain life is huge though. That's like 150 damage. It's massive. Uh, and then I think I can get rid of like four of these. Okay, and then we'll read, we'll read the good word and we'll go to town. We should maybe stick around and try to buy a stat potion. Killed the blubbering idiot. Wait, how many trolls do I have? I have six. Oh, I was gonna drop off my deep descent. Your home is full. Uh, what can I take? Oh, I lost my rod of curing. Do I still need my rod of curing? Okay, tell him good luck. I didn't realize he was doing a run tonight or I might have watched it too. I don't want to stop in the middle of my stream. Uh, oh, why, why is this here? That, that's that's definitely an item I can throw on the ground. Um, I'm gonna save my potion of enlightenment, I think. Just like my scroll of teleport level and my deep descents, but now the home is full. Yeah, I gotta grab one more item here. Oh, there's an amulet or, oh, I'm full. We were gonna drop the studded armor. Don't need that shit. What else did I grab that I was like, I don't need this? something I actually want. I mean, some of these items I don't really need to hang on to. I don't think I need these rings of flame and ice. They're, they're definitely nice, and if I could, Replace my ring of intelligence. That's probably what I would put there. Or speed, or like this this ring of intelligence maybe is what I would really put there. I don't know. Um, and then let's put, what else was I gonna put here? Deep descent. Do I wanna take out my rod of curing? So, cause like, I don't know, I'm torn about that. I don't think I really need the Rod of Curing anymore, like I used to, because of my abilities now. And like, is it really worth it to hang on to this Ring of Teleportation anymore? It's probably not. In fact, it's probably better to get rid of that than it is to get rid of, um, Like, is it possible to dump these back in here? Okay, what's, what's another item I can pull out of here? Like, should I be bringing the rings of escaping with me? Because that's plus eight if I wore both. Plus eight speeds a lot. Do I really need this wicker shield to resist lightning? Like. I've also got this leather one. I 
and the leather one is heavy heavier so there's like a mages get encumbered when their base armor class is too high and then they lose spell points from that encumbrance so even though the wicker shield is crappier if i were ever in a situation when i wanted to switch back to that shield wait why would i ever switch back to that shield when i have a shield of resistance yeah i that item doesn't i don't know why i've been hanging on to that item now this shield of herodrum uh i kind of forgot about all about that one let's let's look at its stats again because Maybe I want to be wearing that. What did it do? Plus two strength, plus two con, poison resistance. Ah, so I can only switch to this if I had re some other thing of resistance. Like, if I switch to it right now, I'll lose acid, electricity, and cold resistance. So that's, it. it's nice, but it doesn't provide enough resistances for me to switch to it okay so then I wanted to I wanted to drop shield of resist fire shield of resist lightning um, so now I've got a ring of teleportation as kind of an oh shit device I've got a staff of teleportation oh can I leave some of my can I leave my spare treasure detection rods in here okay good Okay, inventory management was long overdue. Okay, I think I've got enough oh shit items. I should have more potions of speed. I should maybe farm around and get some of those going. I kind of want to save this. So there's some of these items I kind of want to stockpile for a while. Like, it would be really nice to have a stockpile of enlightenment potions and a stockpile of uh, teleport level and deep descent. These these three here, C, F, and H. Why is there no B? Menus are weird, you guys. Oh yeah, I also found this like, like, Hey Tyson, what's what's Metroid? I'm not familiar with that game. I found like all of these weapons here. I found the Defender, Gruthang. This All Pike was my first, my first enchanted weapon. This one I don't know how to say, and the Battle Axe of Bali Stone Hand. And they were all super helpful. And I kind of don't want to part with them. <laughs> But, but in all seriousness, they kind of have different properties that are really useful to me, uh, which is the reason I haven't been able to convince myself to get rid of them. Like, I think this one, wait, whoops. I think this one had telepathy. Yeah. So it's really fun to wield this one. Now I can see everything. Like I can see all the enemies. And there's definitely, like, for a while, like, if, if it wasn't so heavy, I was thinking for a while that I would carry it around and then switch to telepathy when I didn't need the resistance. Yeah, its database has almost got the far left edge down from Spazer. You can level first and always rooting for the party. You know, I, I like a Niv. A Niv says some pretty funny things, but long sentences are not a Niv's forte. Like, they just turned into word salad. It's kind of an unfortunate thing about Markov bots. They don't really learn, like, sentence structure. They just know, like, words come after words. Sorry, that was probably kind of random, but it made me... Well, if I wanted a spare rod of probing, now is when to buy it. Oh, that potion of healing. I should probably buy that and stockpile it.
Surely I'll find a bunch of those later, right? Double, double probing. Thick probing? Call it thick probing. Okay, let's read the description on that potion real quick. Um, when quaffed, it heals 1,200 hit points. We have, we have 205. Uh, it cures blindness, cures wounds, cures poisoning, cures stunning, cures an amnesia, cures confusion, and feeds you for 150 turns. It can be thrown at creatures with damaging effect. Oh god, that would be such a fucking waste of a healing potion. Oh yeah, I was gonna also put away... Uh, oh. I wanted to put my good one back on and then put that one away. So I would have to take something out if I wanted to put anything else in. Which is kind of annoying. But uh, it is what it is. I'm gonna stop fussing over that. Uh, right. You didn't have potions of restore on, or I didn't have like a sip of mur 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 mur. No, I didn't. You didn't. You're not selling one. All right, time to wait in the dungeon for some time to pass. You drop money? No. How about you? You? Jeez. I don't drop money. A rod of magic mapping? Is that... Wait, I already have one of those. Oh. I guess I could buy my backup again. Oh, I don't really need it. Whoops. Fur Cloak of the Magi. I think I have that. No, I have Cloak of Amon. I think I think my Cloak of the I think my uh, my Cloak of the Magi is in my home. Anyway, uh, what did I? I was gonna read Enchant Armor. Check the other shops real quick. They. They never have anything. It's usually the black market or this place that has something good. All right. Let's wait a little bit longer. This is kind of like, this is kind of a scummy tactic, but Sometimes it's the only way to, like, get the items you want. To play a little scummy. You know, I don't really need... There's no reason to carry these Cure Serious anymore. They're just dead weight. Just like that guy's inventory is dead weight. have 13 of the criticals. Seems like a lot. Sometimes when you get thirsty, you just start chugging them. Nobody, nobody wants to give me a restore con. It's gonna be a while before I level. I'm gonna be stuck with this deduced con for a while. Let's buy another one of those. Potion of mana is also good.
So we're gonna need, we're gonna need a lot of those healing potions deep in the dungeon, particularly when we're ready to take on the final boss. You just wanna have like a stack of those. Just like as many as you can bring. Hopefully you don't need more than like 10, but. You wouldn't want to need 10 to have nine, right? I have, oh, I have 15 potions, so that I don't really need more of those. Um, I don't know what a Wand of Annihilation does, but it sure sounds deadly. Those guys will steal your money if you're not careful. Sometimes I just nuke them for that reason. I think we want that potion of constitution. What is Staff of Destruction? Because we can only buy one of the two. I think Staff of Destruction like destroys the floor, the dungeon level. We gained like two hit points or something. And that. So that's not amazing, but every little bit, you know? Uh, so there's, I don't think there's any reason to keep hanging out in town because we don't have enough money to buy a second potion. Uh, we got a young multi hued. Not happy to see that. And then a young black dragon. Eight Algoths? Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, this level... This will be a challenging dungeon to clear. CD. See H for these guys. Uh, what what hounds do we have here? Dark hounds and fire hounds. Dark hounds aren't. Not that big of a deal for this character. I like that I went back down to the dungeon and we got some like creepy music. We got like the X Files music. Wait, what is that? A oh, a blue dragon bat. I thought it was a blue dragon for a second. I think that's actually like, you know how in nature, certain animals will like mimic other animals, like, like poison dart frogs. Actually, maybe they're a bad example. I don't know, like some sort of insect that looks like a bee. Uh, I think the dragon bats in this game work on that same principle. That they're they're supposed to make you think that there's a dragon, but. They're like relatively harmless. Oh damn, okay. The people hanging out in this room don't want to die. Uh, what do we see here? Misty potions, we don't know what those do. Quaff away. Potion of healing. Um, heals 300 hit points or 35%, which is 
whichever is greater. And then cures, I think it cures all the same things. So I don't even know that we need the big healing potions. I don't even know if we're ever gonna have enough HP to need them. Wait, what are you, hold on while I probe you. What are you weak to? Does not resist fire. The coral snake is one, I think. Ah, yeah. Coral snakes and milk snakes, is it? Or no, maybe, maybe, maybe milk snakes are unrelated. King snake is coral snake is the one that will kill you that it mimics, unless that's what you meant. Oh, coral is the mimic and king is the deadly one. Uh, it's called a king snake. Sa same thing, same naming uh, strategy as the king cobra. It's called, it has king in its name because it hunts other snakes. You guys probably knew that, but I only learned that like last week. So I thought it was cool. And the milk snake has its name and a milk snake is a bad name for it because the name is because farmers in the, like, I don't know, the Midwest or something, like American farmers created some sort of folklore or dumb idea or whatever that the milk snakes would drink the cow's milk. Etons take a lot of acid bolts. Aluminum rod of polymorph? Oh, I don't think I care about that. I don't think I need that. have any use for it. I just kind of instinctively grab it and then realize like, no, oh, that's a dumb item to carry. I don't know, polymorph can probably save your life. I've never really played with it. You know, I'm not a huge fan of the, like, unpredictable shit. This seems like such a gamble. Okay, kill those guys with haste. Amulet of wisdom. Hard to care about that. Other fun fact, the mnemonic related to it doesn't actually work because both species don't actually have consistent color band patterns. Yikes. <laughs> uh, what? I mean, I'm hallucinating, which is fine. Can I still cast spells while hallucinating? Oh, a willow. Oh, I need to probe that. Is that is that the willow wisp? It is. Where to get probed? Um. Monster knowledge. I guess they're elemental because they're an E. I'm waiting for capital E's to show up. I wonder if I already passed it. Oh, it's in this category. Um, let's see. Non-living creature, death 38, 3x speed, yeah, that's a problem. 600 experience if I kill it. Um, it's not, it is visible, invisible and not detected by telepathy. Um, nether, water, plasma, and nexus, disenchant, oh god. These are, these are annoying to kill. I'm gonna have to use magic missile on it and it's got, how much, it's got a hundred, oh no, that's armor rating. A 
176 health and I'm gonna have to use magic missile to kill it. I've gotten decent at knowing which hallucinations are real over the years. Not like actually good, but. You know, I can kind of tell a little bit some of the time. Almost dead. Almost. It's like halfway. Damn. Why'd I have to fail my casting? Cast magic missile to darkness, basically. Is that like I'm a functioning alcoholic? It's the best we focus. It's best we focus on the functioning, ignore the alcoholic. Yeah. I don't know if you're referencing something, but it is. It is kind of like kinda similar to that. Oh, there it is. Come here, buddy. Oh, good. We killed it. Uh, nine half trolls, one baby multi, or one young multi hue dragon, and one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why am I still on this level? Uh, this is bad. You set off the explosion. The air seems to catch fire. You resist the effect. You resist the effect. You have been stunned. I, w I would have rather not <laughs> done any of that trap setting off and just... I would have rather disarmed it. Ochre Potion of Nimble. That's kind of a shame. I want I want true stat potions. So the ones that aren't named... So like Potion of Intelligence raises your intelligence and doesn't do anything else. But a Potion of Intellect, um, it raises one stat, your intelligence, and lowers another one, a random one. So the Intellect Potions are kind of like... They work a little bit if you drink them for your primary stat. But I don't know. Potion of nimbleness. Po potion of nim nim nuts. Num nuts? Yeah, I think I meant num nuts. Oh, a new wand. A new wand touches the beacon. Acid bolts. We don't really need acid bolts in wand form. Good wand though. There'll be treasure in here. And orcs. What all do we see? Oh, a tin rod. Where is that? Three south, nine east? It's just in that corner. Okay, let's. Uh, 
try to rescue that tin rod. Uh, let's breathe some sound on this guy. Boom! You guys want to follow me, right? Yeah, come over here. Nothing, nothing, I'm not planning anything. You guys, you guys backed me into a wall. I, oh no, what am I going to do now that I'm backed into a wall? Uh, what, okay, you're just water. Uh, MC. MC dead. It's like that black ooze or whatever it was that I didn't even see because I was busy walking. Oh, I should use fire. The frost trolls believe they're hurled a boulder at me. The nerve of some of these jerks. Zap the floor rod. Oh. oh, yes, we found a rod of recall. Oh, that's a great item. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, we basically don't need scrolls of recall anymore. Recall is, um, it basically teleports you, it's like Town Portal in Diablo. Is this a different game version than you were using with the bot? I just noticed the speed at the bottom. Um, no, uh, wait, yes, yes, uh, if you permute the version number, <laughs> It's kind of funny. I was playing 3.4.1, I think, before, and now I'm playing 4.1.3. <laughs> but that speed indicator, actually, that's just a UI option. I don't think the other version had had it, but I could be seeing speed that way instead. Yeah, so you normally use uh, scrolls of recall. And they're they're quite good. There's there's no reason to dislike scrolls of recall, but you kind of like you need one for each direction. But with a rod of recall, you can you basically can reduce your carry weight. Is what it comes down to. Um, because this one rod is one and a half pounds, whereas uh, four of these scrolls is two pounds. And the rod needs a while to recharge. So, like, there is kind of a theory that, like, the scrolls can be, can be better in some cases. Was it a learnable spell? There's, I, apparently I don't remember much about Diablo 1. I definitely played it. But I think I played Diablo 2 far more. Wait, what enemies were in here? Maybe we just opened up a can of orange. I didn't want to open. Oh, there's also an ethereal drake I didn't see before. Everybody's asleep still. I was playing D2 earlier today, version 1.00 challenge run, no vitality barb. Uh, I 
is... Wait, did I kill that vampire? Oh no, it fled in terror. Oh, there it is. Can I target it? Vampire dead, okay. Um, yeah, I, so I don't know much about the Barbarian class. I never really played it. Uh, what, what does it mean to, to know Vitality the Barb? Like an ability you're not allowed to take? My fingers don't know what to do. Uh-oh, what, what dragon just woke up here? A baby black. I actually kind of need to teleport away for a while and heal. Oh, this is not going well. I think we're safe in here. You just never put level up stats into health, so low hit points, you get a couple of hit point every level, level of three. Ah. Yeah, I, um, I almost exclusively played a mage in Diablo 2. I like spellcasters a lot, in a lot of games. If you couldn't tell. that corner that I teleported to that was dangerous. That way if I teleport there again, it won't be dangerous. But yeah, because I'm a dwarf, I have really good digging. Like just a, a natural bonus to digging. like five years or so it's all been 1.00 to take advantage of bugs ah water trolls I better probe this guy what are you what are you weak to you're weak to bright light does like when it says he is hurt by I guess that doesn't necessarily mean it's a vulnerability. It just means that, like, other things aren't necessarily hurt by that thing that they're hurt by. Oh, wait. What did I cast? MCH is what I meant. Oh, I must have cast Lightning. They're all dead. Um, the where it says conjurer, that's just flavor text, based on your class and your level. Uh, I think before conjurer is evoker, and I it changed on. It changed on level thirty one instead of like level thirty, so I don't know if the next one is thirty six or if it's forty one. They're just, it's just flavor text. Well, 
wolf. Oh, I, I didn't cast my spell. I don't think these guys were in here the first time. Right? Like, they... Did these guys spawn while I was wandering around? Enemies do spawn into the dungeons. Oh yeah, and I don't remember who asked about the version. Um, the reason for the version numbering change is I do kind of like to try to play the newest version I can, but the Borg is increasingly broken as you play newer versions. Like, I think the Borg worked best with an older version that it was more intensely developed for. So I kind of, I tried to go back in time with versions. The reason I'm not playing the latest, latest version of the game is because they changed the mage class in a way that I don't think is all that fun. And so I'm playing, I'm basically playing the latest version before that change that I didn't like. The strongest Borg, I put it in Junie's chat the other day, I think I think you already saw, basically, that it made it to like lo character level 38, dungeon level 30, and died to a Vibration Hound. Yeah, so the, I've probably mentioned this a bunch already, but like the menus subtly changed between versions, and that kind of breaks the Borg. And at this point, to fix it, you, you really just have to go over everything with a fine tooth comb and I don't know, like set up testing scenarios and like try the inputs that the Borg is going to try or something and make sure that the like, cause the, the Borg source code is like, it's really low level. It's like send like, okay. So if I want to cast identify. I cast M. Uh, well, I, I press M to bring up this menu. And then if I want the third spell book, I press C. And then if I want the identify spell, I press F. So that's MCF, right? And so the, the code in the Borg will actually be like, okay, send send key presses MCF. Um, if I, okay. So the Borg was historically distributed separately and you had to build it yourself. And then version 3.4 and version 3.5 and maybe 3.3 but i think it was just 3.4 and 3.5 they actually incorporated the borg into the main source code and built it in as a standard thing and then after 3.51 or 5.3 or something i forget after somewhere after 3.5 they switched over to the 4.0 numbering and they no longer bundled the Borg. So it only got bundled for like two versions. And the, like, it didn't used to be an issue because the guy who made the Borg had his own website where he, like, he, you could download it, uh, all the archived versions, and then his website is gone now. So I don't know. This is kind of. That's kind of how the world is now. But hey, we just drank a dexterity potion. So that's one that's one fewer stat potions that we gotta find. <laughs> Fuck, we gotta find so many more. Uh, this is kind of a grind. The cool thing about getting our decks up though um, is we'll have fewer items stolen. I forgot what I was doing in here earlier. Oh yeah, it's I had opened this vault. Where is everybody? Who's awake? Oh, there. Okay, everybody but the black dragon is asleep. That's actually pretty handy. Now this is an instance where I wish I had telepathy because then I would be able to see when the dragon. Oh, there he is. I basically want to kill this dragon from as far away as possible to wake up as few of these guys as I can at once. I 
So, yeah, I was... I don't know... I don't know who's listening that knows about programming, but... I was thinking that maybe a better way to do the Borg... Like, I like the spirit of the Borg, that it, like... It sends and receives commands the way the player does. And only in very rare instances does it, like, actually dig into the game internals. Um, but I was thinking, like... Little things like, you know, making sure you're in the correct part of the menu before you send the letter is super obnoxious, super obnoxious detail to have to get right across versions. And so maybe what a better approach would be is implement the Borg so that it's got like a web socket thing where it's listening and like sends and receives little JSON messages where it's like, you know, the Borg could ask like, okay, what, what are the IDs of the items in my inventory? And like, let's say it's trying to enchant an item, right? And so then the server, the game sends it like, okay, here's an ID that you can use to uniquely identify everything in your inventory. And then the Borg sends back, okay, then, you know, enchant, you know, read this scroll by, by ID and uh, its target will be this other item by ID. And then you won't have to worry about how any of the menuing works. The game would then just check, like, is that a legal operation for me to do right now, given the state of the world? Okay, do that. Um, and it would be a little bit less... Uh, like, it might be not as obvious that it, it works in the... Works in that way where it's, like, only doing what a human can do. Because it's, like, using this new protocol that humans don't use. But I think it would be more robust to small changes in uh, the menuing and stuff. The Borg would still be like really sensitive to what version of Angband it's made for because um, anytime the game mechanics change, you need like basically a different Borg, right? Because like you can't you can't guarantee it's always going to understand what the changes were. I like to leave my hallways lit up when I can. Baby, or a young black dragon? So what was attacking us earlier? Or did I set off a trap on accident? Two copies of Resistance of whatever. Uh, that's probably why this floor is a five. Like, that's a very good item. I keep pressing the wrong button because there's like a key on this keyboard that I'm not used to having. There we go. Plus two strength. And let you see invisible things. Wait. So right now, what do I get the invis from? I only get it from D, which is a ring. Oh, but I don't want to lose my uh, confusion resistance. Okay, my disarming sucks. Maybe I should just cast destroy trap. Um, I'm, I'm used to disarming everything for XP, but this dwarf character seems to be kind of bad with traps. Uh, High elves I'm used to playing seem to be a little bit better at disarming. I say as I go back to just walking into all the traps. Enchant armor. Um, we can read that on gloves. Huh, so outside of, what was the good thing I mentioned earlier? Well, this slay troll thing, and there was something else on the ground that I said was good. Is it gone now? Well, the Rod of Recall probably contributed a lot to the levels. Um, oh, that book, the spell book. The Resistance of Spell Book is a really uh, valuable item. Let's cast haste. Got a quarter chance. Oh, it worked. We 
could also cast um, yeah I failed on that I'm not surprised what if we just straight up attack okay when we hit we actually do really good damage Oh, Ethereal Drake. Uh, I'm gonna probe you because I don't actually know what you're like. A dragon of great power with control over light and dark. The Ethereal Drake's eyes glare with white hatred from the shadows. This evil dragon is normally found at depths of 1650 feet, level 33, and moves at normal speed. It has an armor rating of 84 and an average life of 352. Uh, can carry up to four objects. That's pretty cool. Does not resist acid. Well, you know what that means. My acid bolt's a pretty good spell. Uh, potion of enlightenment. Staffs of staffs of summoning are like. Like, there's a part of me that wants to just, like, use that st use all the charges on that staff to just, like, summon things. But it's, like, it's always, like, I do that, and then I die, and then I feel like a fucking idiot. Because it's, like, well, I caused myself to die by using this cursed item in a way that I thought was, like, you know, going to be advantageous. All right, so that's that dungeon level in total. I think everything that's left is just an enemy that spawned while we were clearing it. Uh, there's the stairs. Do I want to go back to the town? Um. No, I think I want to keep going. You feel anxious about this place? Okay, well, let's save. Oh, no, this... Do you see this? Omens of Death haunt this place. Level 9. Uh, oh, my God. I... I think I might know what's going on. I think I might know. Look at all those treasures. All those red asterisks inside that vault are treasures. This is, is this a lesser vault? I think this is still a lesser vault, but it's like, it's it's up there. Uh, so what do we got for enemies here? Oh, this is a, oh, you know what we need to do? It's kind of a waste of the potion if we're gonna leave, but if we drink the potion of enlightenment, we actually know what every, we, we actually get to see what the items are. So there's a staff we haven't identified, a rod we haven't identified, two scrolls we haven't identified, and then a ton of normal items that are, aren't really any good. Ring of Constitution, uh, Ring of Resist Poison, we already have one. We're, we're wearing it, in fact. Um... Elm Staff of Teleportation is the most valuable item I've, most valuable to my character item I've seen in here. Uh, rod of Treasure Location and a Rod of Magic Mapping. It's not bad to have backups of either though. And a Rod of Probing. Potion, both types of Healing Potion. Two Potions of Enlightenment. Now the, the, challenge with trying to go grab potions is enemies with breath weapons will often destroy the potions before you can reach them. In fact, a lot of a lot of normal, like, normal items are that way. 11 south, 1 east. So that's got to be inside that vault. Yeah, I think I even see the item. Uh, what's, what's the look? Oh. No. It's probably... Potion of Healing. Other Potion of Healing. 
But none of them are stat potions, which is kind of what I really want. Yeah, so this level's... This level's interesting, but... Yes, permanently. So there's, there's, um, uh, there's, um, there's two types of stat potions. There's one that raises one stat and lowers another. And then there's stat potions that purely raise one stat. So a great ice worm, that thing would probably fuck my shit up. Undead beholders, okay, I remember them being like a pain in the ass. Uh, ancient green dragon, they breathe poison. I think they breathe poison. I don't know what that S is in Aranea. Nexus vortices, we fortunately have resist Nexus. Uh, sure. I don't remember elixirs. Acidic cytoplasm? Tagashi? Amayar? Uh, well, I guess singular of Mayar is Maya. A Nexus? Uh, Qu Qu Quilithug? Those guys are annoying. Oh, yeah, this level's got some... Bjorn the Shape Changer, he's a... He probably shouldn't be an evil enemy in this game, but also he's a pain in the ass to fight. Oh, hey, Lomian. Uh, Arnia is probably some kind of spider. Yeah, th that would make sense, being an S. Um, yeah, there are... Uh, so this game used to have lesser and greater angels, and then they recently, when this was released, I forget how many years ago this version was released, like five years ago or something. When this version was released, they changed the um, lesser and greater angels to Maiar and um, Anu. What, what, what are the other ones called? Anyway, those two things. Valar, Anur. Take, take your Valar and shove it up your Anur. Uh, but this level, my level feeling is Omens of Death haunt this place. And there's like, there's some cool items here, but not like anything I actually really want. Like the two cloudy potions of enlightenment are probably the things I most want out of this list. Definitely doesn't feel like a dungeon worth sticking around to find shit on. So, it's it sucks to quaff enlightenment and run, but I'm doing it. Oh, I shouldn't have cast that spell. I didn't mean to surrender my staircase. Classic, classic mistake. There's like nowhere I can teleport to around here. Oh, found my staircase. All right, so this one's only a five level feeling, so that's that's better. Find some gold, get some XP, so that those numbers are identical. <laughs> yeah, they're weirdly, they've been weirdly synced. 
Okay, let's cast the correct spells this time. Uh, those uniques might be worth hunting now. Uh, just to get them dead. Um. Oh, our magic mapping is... Napping. Hey, you hear a door burst open. Like you do. Uh, I don't like Mithril Golems. Let's see. What is he weak to? Does not resist acid. Close enough to a weakness. <laughs> what? No, the... Uh, the next number goes down. When I get experience. Oh, right. Yeah. I see what you're saying. So now they're further out of sync. <laughs> yeah, I kind of think they should have just done... Um, like a gold dollar sign to label that line. But what do I know? Can I? Okay, can do this one now. Damn, that's so dumb for entertaining. <laughs> uh, the invisible stalker. Let's probe that shit. It resists poison, but does not resist fire. this asshole. Wait, what did I just... Okay. I'm pressing weird stuff. Uh, zap. Trap. I don't know, treasure. Okay, whatever. Ooh, a ration of food. That's worthwhile. Cast satisfy hunger. It's me, I'm a bot. Nina's a robot. Never trust people with more than two underscores in their name. Yeah. I feel like I'm gaining potions really slowly. Okay. Uh, cast. Haste. And then probe, probe the shit out of that guy. And then read what we learned. Okay, he can use confusion. Good thing we resist confusion. 
Uh, what does he? What else does he do though? He resists light, rock remover, lightning, and fire, but doesn't resist acid. Oh, you know, you really should have brought your acid resist stuff. I'm gonna have to teleport away as soon as he dies, basically. Unless they, unless that other one stays asleep. The Odin? Did, did, am I reading that right? Oh man. This is a really good item. Particularly for warriors. <sighs> the problem with me using this is I would have to give up my resist confusion. When activated, it drains up to 120 hit points of life from a target. That is a really good ability. <laughs> I've never used an axe. Plus three wisdom and plus three con. Slays dragons. Slows your metabolism. Grants telepathy. Telepathy is such a nice ability in this game. Do you still slow down? I should probe this guy. What am I doing? Always probe. Uh, but I think he's probably the same stats as the last guy. Drain all your mana into lightning bolts. Mithril gauntlets? Death Ank? Uh, I seem to recall Death Ank is kind of weak sauce. Ooh, lightning bolt to the 66. Ooh. The nice thing about that lightning bolt is you has to like every 10 turns. Which is like, that's kind of nutty. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't really need to think. You know what I do need to do, though? I need to breathe some sound on you guys. I've destroyed the moaning spirit. Uh, gold dragon, I can use acid. Towering blackened form crackling with heat. Uh, 
Uh, it's not detected by telepathy. Now that's kind of interesting. So, it doesn't have a mind. Uh, what doesn't it resist? Acid. Like, <laughs> acid is almost too good. Oh, breathe, breathe darkness on me all you want. I resist, I resist blindness. I can still read my books in the dark because I'm a motherfucking dwarf. You don't, don't punch me to that giant. Yeah, I might, um, so this keyboard has, like, media controls right above the 10 key, and I'm used to hitting the minus key by, like, instead of reaching from the 10 key, because, like, my finger's a little short for that, I usually just, like, swat the corner of the keyboard, and it means that I hit the media control button instead. How do I fix that? It's like, I like this keyboard, I don't want to... What am I casting? My fingers are doing weird shit again. I still got all my items equipped. Okay. A lich. Uh, I should probe you and get away. So I thought, I thought that because I have hold life, d does hold life not do what I thought it did? I like, what stops the the stat drain? I mean the experience drain. Bulls team got a new three player world record. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, Junie. Why you don't play fast like the bot? Um, I thought it would be fun to, to play slow enough that you guys could tell what was going on. I mean, I, n no offense, but like, you know, I don't think you can tell what's going on when the bot plays. I'm paralyzed with fear, my ass. I'm not afraid of that lich. I mean, I was kind of afraid of it. A little bit. But I made that lich my bitch. <laughs> you can see levels go up. And dungeon levels go up and down. And then lots of town. I fixed the lots of town thing. And now it can get to like level 30 in like two hours. Not counting ones where it dies pre prematurely. Oh, there's a treasure up there I missed. Um, okay, so, sometimes the quiver thing, but the, the main thing that happened was around level 20, it found a lantern, like, so my, my light source is the file of Galadriel, which means it's, like, permanent, and for a long time that was, like, the only light source, only permanent light source in Angband, other than, like, so there's, there's more than the file, but, like, the file was, like, the only one anybody ever finds. The other one's super rare. Um, and then at some point they added Lanterns of Everburning. And the Borg kept mistaking the Lantern of Everburning for the file. And the Borg has a bit of code that says, oh, I want to change dungeon levels. I better make sure that all of my activatable gear is recharged. And the file is something you can activate. So it kept sitting there in town until it would like hit its like wait timeout waiting for the lamp to recharge but the lamp didn't have charges to begin with and so it was waiting for something that's never going to happen and that's also why it would stare at rubble
How deep into the dungeon can you go right now? Level 35. Um, so there's, there's kind of a structure to this game where in the very, very beginning, you just need to get some experience and whatever items you find are gonna be good enough. And then somewhere around level 20, uh, that changes and you start to need uh, resistances. So this, there's four tables here. I mean, there's five, but ignore the one up top and just look at the second row. So this first one on the on the left, the the rows are labeled resist acid, resist electricity, resist fire, resist cold, resist poison, resist light, resist dark, and then sound and sharp. And then the columns are for your like your equipable things. So A is your weapon. B is your bow, like whatever your ranged weapon is. C is uh, your first ring, D is your second ring, E is your amulet, F is your light source, and then your different types of armor are G through L. And then the at sign are things that are like innate properties. And so you can see that like my eye, which is a shield, that's what the, the closed paren means, is it's a shield. So I is giving me resist acid, resist electricity, resist fire, and resist cold. And then if you look in the, I said, ignore the top row. Well, let's go look at that one now, that top matrix. So it has, if you look in the E column, it has this two on the wisdom line. So that means that my amulet gives me two wisdom. And similarly, my J, which is my helmet, gives me two intelligence. Uh, not really. You you really only need... Uh, so so around dungeon level 20, if you look at the, the third matrix from the left, there's a line that says FR act. That's free action. So for dungeon level 20, you need the one, the one above it, see invisible. You need free action. And then you need uh, acid, elect, fire, and cold. And then for dungeon level uh, 30, you need to add uh, hold life, which is the last row of the second one, the H life. And then I just happened to get lucky and was able to fill, oh, you need poison. Sorry, you, you, need, you need poison before you need hold life. Sorry, it goes, it, it goes those first four, then you need poison, then you need hold life. Anyway, because I'm playing a mage character and you can only cast spells if you have the book and you can read the book. So if you're confused or blind, you can't read the book. So I get blindness resistance from my race, which is if you look at like P blind and the at sign, there's a plus. So I get that, I get that for being dwarven. But my weapon, I found, I lucked out, just dumb luck, found a weapon that provides uh, resistance against confusion. And so this character can't get locked out of casting spells, which is super important as a mage. And so I actually have lucked into a arrangement of resistances where like my gear is actually like suboptimal otherwise, but these resistances are so valuable and so important that I'm using them. And like protection from fear, not important for a mage. If you're afraid, you can't melee attack. Well, who cares? And protection from stun, uh, similar story. It just reduces your damage into hit with melee. Don't care about that. So I basically have, there, there's only like a couple resistances I could have that I don't have now, and you can't really get them at this point in the game. So nether, chaos, and disenchantment, uh, they're, they're gray. Like I've never even seen an item that has them is what the gray means. So Chaos would actually subsume Nexus. So if I could get Chaos Resistance, that would be amazing. But aside from that, there are basically no other resistances for me to get right now. The, the, so Chaos Resistance and Immunity to Fire are like the two things that would be worthwhile upgrades. How do you learn you need these resistances? Yeah, yes, exactly, by trial, trial by fire. Um, uh, I think at some point, like, 
personally, I started looking up information about the game because like I wasn't getting better at it. And I was like, I didn't understand what I was missing. I was like 14 or 15 at the time. And so I started reading guides. And so some of this knowledge is actually just from things I read about like strategies for how to play the game. And also uh, somebody on Reddit was recently giving me some tips. And so some of, some of what I'm doing is, is based on that conversation. So they told me, for example, they told me to, so the potions that I'm hunting right now actually spawn natively at level 40, but they recommended hanging out at level 35 instead because they will still show up some of the time. So I'm kind of torn, like it's going really slow, so I might actually dive another five levels, but every time level 40 stuff spawns in one of these dungeons, it's been really hard to deal with. So I kind of think their advice is right, that like I should be really careful about going any deeper than 35. So, oh, in this game, so you see how my stats, like I have a strength and then there's a self column. So self column doesn't apply your racial bonus, which is RB, or class bonus, which is CB, or your equipment bonus, EB. So you can get, I think the self column, I think when each stat is maxed, it's 18,100 in the self column. And then the other bonuses apply. So there are attacks. Uh, I have resistance against Nexus, so those attacks won't do it. But chaos attacks can do it. Um, they, they will permute your stats, your base stats, your self column. They'll permute that. And there's no undo. The only undo is um, like find stat potions to permanently raise them back up or uh, get them permuted again. And so there's a strategy which is get all of your stats to 18100 and then if you get hit by the, the attack that shuffles your stats, who cares because they're all the same. And so that's the part of the game I'm in, which is uh, like basically get my stats homogenized and max. We just destroyed one of my mana potions, but I actually got a lot of those. Now. Yeah, so uh, this somebody was in here the other day pointing out that like they never really got into this game because it's too grindy, and I totally get what they get where they're coming from. Like I think that's a completely legitimate criticism of this game. What level do you think you'll be by the time everything is eighteen one hundred? Um, so dwarven mages need I think one hundred and forty. They need like, I think they need 1.4 or 1.3 times as much experience as the base, um, which isn't too crazy. I used to play high elf mages and they need 2.3 times. So like a high elf mage is gonna have its stats maxed at like <laughs> level 30 something probably. But I might actually be in the 40s by the time I, um, by the time I get there. But, but I actually don't know, I don't know the mid game well enough to, to have a, an actual informed prediction. Like I've, I've only had three characters make it to the end game. Um, I had Frania the human warrior when I was, I think 17. Uh, she made it down to like, I think level 80 and died to a unique and I used, there's like a cheat system to cheat permadeath if you really want to. And I wanted to get to know the game better, so I was really sad that I lost my character. So then I just cheated death until I got all the way down to the end, just to see like what the rest of the game was like and, and like build a mental model. And then it was years later before I had another character even come close. Like, 
So like, that was in high school, right? So it was post-college by the time I had another character even get down that deep. And that was a high elf mage. And that character died to Sauron on level 99. And then my next best character uh, killed Sauron and died to Morgoth. <laughs> so I was like, you know, probably like three or four rounds from beating the game. And I fat fingered something like I cast the wrong spell. I don't remember anymore. Um, maybe I attacked when I should have healed. I, I really don't remember. But Morgoth was like slightly faster than me. And when another character is slightly faster than you, they will occasionally get a double turn. And it just so happened that whatever action I took uh, left me weak and he got a double turn and killed me. <laughs> and it was like, I've I barely touched the game in like 15 years <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a brutal game. I mean, I know what I'm, I know exactly what I'm getting into it every time I start a character. but uh, sometimes I need a break. <laughs> like, when this character dies, I don't know if I'll start another one. I might, I might wait a year. Because this, this is, uh, this character's doing fairly well, actually. Azog, Azog is an asshole. Let's, let's, let's take our big probing rod and find out what this asshole is like. Target and recall. So he's from dungeon level 23, so he shouldn't be too bad to, to kill actually, and we can use acid on him. Closest thing I've played to this game is a game called Tunnels of Doom. I don't know that one. Uh, okay, this is a pretty good position. Uh, M. We want M. C. And I'm casting light. Oh, what are you? I. Um. I better make sure you're dead. I'm casting lightning here because if things bunch up in this tunnel, I'll hit all of them. Lightning is a beam every time. Other spells are a beam like when they crit. But that was way less involved than this. The dungeon was maxed in levels deep, but you had a time limit to save the king in the bottom dungeon and then escape. Yeah, so the the game I'm gonna try out after this is called Sill. Um, I've, been, I've been giving people a link to the manual because the manual makes it sound like a really fun roguelike. Um, there's no like levels and stuff in Sill and it's, designed to only be like a 10 hour game as opposed to like this which is probably more like a 40 to 60 hour game yeah that's probably where Lomian is right now he's probably sealing it up um but yeah still still sounds rather interesting it it sounds well designed if nothing else like even if we ended up hating it or something it, at least it's well designed My mom is well designed. You're selling my mom up. <laughs> yeah, bro, you've got a well designed mom. Is that like Stacy's mom is is well designed. Ah, oh, this is Azog. Okay, so I already probed him. Oh, have I been casting a spell? He's not weak to. Or did he just have that much health? Thing is, I've got to get out of here. He, um, my mana is too low. I could, I could drink. What the hell is going on? Oh, who are you? Wait. Oh, Azog followed me. Azog wants to party. That's cool. Like my teleport spells, like go really far. So the fact that he follows me that far is impressive. 
Oh, I think. What happened to the music? Oh, it's just between songs. Stacy's mom is really well designed. She's all that I want, and she's always on my mind. I'd sing it for you guys, but I don't do that. Dude, concentrate harder. Fuck with. Still want to fight me, Azog? Entourage is over here now, too. Who else followed? Hey, for real. Okay. Leather Shield of Resistance. Is that better than what I have? 814. And this one's 814. Wild. <laughs> They're like exactly the same stats. It's pretty cool that those mithril's, those gauntlets are made out of mithril. I, I always appreciated the flavor text in uh, Moria, and then this game. I sometimes view Angband as a sequel to Moria. Well, I think I should learn door glitches. In this game? I don't know, does, does Juni do door glitches? Maybe he could... Maybe he could teach you. Maybe it's time to June with Junie on the door glitches. Lightning bolting everybody in a hallway is like classic, classic mage strat. It's almost 9.30 and I'm debating if I should stream. What, what are the, you know, like, if we're gonna do this debate style, like, let's, let's enumerate the pros, let's enumerate the cons, and like, let's, uh, you know, take down the other person's position and let's do a du justice here. Oh, Lomian, have you seen my weapon? Maybe you've seen my weapon because you've been lurking and hanging out and stuff. This weapon is. Is this weapon lore appropriate, Lomian? Does it get the, the approval? Uh, pros, fun game, cons, tired. You can't just offer to shift someone your weapon. What? You can't? I've been, I've been probing everybody with my rod. They can noly come downstairs, pog sheep, I bopped slack Josh, and maybe even Desi. Need to frame count it says Desi bought by almost one sec. <laughs> I don't think Squid likes a new. Squid, you know, as as a mod in my channel. I really need you to, um, you know, welcome everybody and, and have an open mind about all the chatters. <laughs> Sounds like tortilla. Uh, it may mean nothing to you, but it means a lot to my character because it's really powerful. These wolves are obnoxious. Their AI got improved or something. And now they'll only come out and fight you if they can swarm you. Which is like, I, I appreciate what the devs did, and I hate it. <laughs> it's like, thanks I hate it, AI improvement.
Listen, it's it's not it's not like it's Nightbot. Your character has very little credibility on the subject. To be fair. You don't remember dwarves resisting blindness in uh, the books? follow but the one I killed does did follow it's kind of interesting difference in their AI the the movie taught you the dwarves are excellent track and field sprinters <laughs> what um so in the in the like the lore of the game of this game there's some explanation about how like Dwarves have the best eyesight of all. Like, they have the best infravision, and their eyesight... In fact, their eyesight is so good that they... Like, you can't make them blind. And... I don't think that's canon. That isn't... That... Like... Like, when did Tolkien have any... Like, have any race be superior to High Elves? Show me where that was in the book. I, yeah, they were given the gift of death, but then they didn't understand it. Am I killing Blog? Am I ending Blogs? Really? You can't find me, dude? Okay. I killed Blogs. There's no real indication during a journey in the dark that Gimli has better eyesight than anyone. <laughs> right? Um, I don't know, like, the movie... The movie made a point of Legolas, like, people depending on Legolas to see things. Legolas definitely had the best eyes in the books. Like, even among elves. And the Fellowship. Yeah. Legolas is a high elf, right? I'm gonna get away from that black knight. He's it's kind of a wild card. Why was there a paladin and a black knight teamed up? It seemed a little unthematic. No, he's just Sindar. Sindar. What um? So like in the books, what determines whether a character is high elven or not?
Like, like, which elves are the high elves? The ones that live in the West? Well, Cinderin is definitely the name of the language, but I suppose it could also be the name of the people. That's, that's what I assume is meant by it. Whether they or their ancestors, yeah. Oh, don't make me go get my copy of the Cimmerillion. It's actually, it's, it's actually behind me on the bookshelf. Uh, I think I beat this level. Let's make sure there's no items laying on the ground that we want to grab. Some Elvish Way Bread. This is the Way Bread. A leather Shield of Resistance, which is identical to the one we have. It's so weird. One elf can be like four different types of elf because of subtypes and shit. Really? Um, at this point in the game, I don't really need the town for much. Uh, I have, uh, this spell Satisfy Hunger that keeps me fed. And my light source is permanent. So those are, those are normally things that you would return to town for. And in older versions of the game, you would collect a bunch of, like, items in the dungeon. And you would take them back to town and sell them. Uh, but they... In order to, like, I think they thought that players were kind of having, like, players were kind of, like, punishing themselves with some tedium where they were, like, encumbering themselves and then carrying, like, this big load of items up to town and then, like, dying while they were encumbered and slow. And so they, they added this option to, like, kind of change the game where you can no longer sell items for money. You can give them away to shopkeepers for it. To get them identified, but you can't, you can't get money for it. Um, and on the flip side, you find a lot more money in the dungeons, so you still end up making about the same amount of money, maybe a little bit less. Um, but the game is now more streamlined. Like, I, like, there's no, I have no, I have no need to go back to the town right now just to like sell, right? which you used to do all the time. You would like clear a floor or two and then go back and sell, clear a floor or two and go back and sell and just rinse and repeat, right? And I don't think, I think some people didn't like that. So I'm, I'm trying to play it this new way that is like weird and foreign to me. And as weird as it is to just dump really nice cure critical potions on the ground, I just don't need those. And like, I don't think I need this Axe of Theoden even though it's like, this is a really, really good ax. I kind of want to keep that one in my home, but Death Ink is, Death Ink is like the kind of artifact you find on like dungeon level five and you're like really stoked for like two hours of gameplay and then you ditch it. Why does the bot go back up and, uh, the bot was written before, so the bot was playing an older version that still had the, that was using the selling mechanic. The bot was designed around the selling mechanic. It doesn't, I don't think it's AI really got updated much after like the nineties. So as, as painful it is, as painful as it is to drop death ink on the ground, uh, I think there's no reason to keep that. Theoden might be worth keeping. Um, let me see if I can make room. I might not even be able to make room for it in my home. Uh, so if I picked up these, these fuckers and just carried them with me, then I could drop Theoden off. So I, I have found uh, the Leather Shield of the Haradrim, 
uh, the defender, which is, there's lots of defenders, like that's a particular class of enchantment, but that's a really good dagger. Um, and this Gur thing, I don't think I'm ever gonna use that. This all pike of Slay Troll has telepathy, which is awesome. It's the reason I've been holding on to it. Theoden, because I just have a hard time parting with it. This item, I don't know anything about the broad axe, Bar Barukul Helid or whatever. And the same with the, the battle axe of Bali Stonehand. And this shovel of earthquakes, I've kind of been hanging on to it because I'm a dwarf and I found a badass shovel. Like, come on. <laughs> Come on, like, I'm a dwarf. I, I want badass shovels. How many restore life level? Oh, six. That's, I'm not drinking them very often. Uh, and there's a black market that just sells, like, it, its inventory is kind of like just random dungeon loot. <laughs> yeah, so that, that shovel causes earthquakes on impact. Whatever that means. I haven't actually used it. Uh, it's tempting to buy that rod of slow monster just to identify it. So see how it says unseen in the item description? That means my character would not recognize a rod of slow monster if it saw it in the dungeon. But if I bought that item, I would. I would. I would, I would come to recognize it. How many potions of speed do I have? I think it's worth buying these. It's kind of... I'm, I'm still over-encumbered. I, I really need to bump my strength up so I'm not over-encumbered all the time. Soft leather armor of resistance. What is my armor? Oh yeah, I don't want to swap that out. I... I... I really like my current armor, and like, yes, I, yes, I just teleported here. So I have, I have scrolls, uh, titled Peta Abut Sops, of word, re word of Recall, and they're like the town portal scrolls in Diablo, where it's like, if you cast it in town, it takes you to your, your, recall depth and if you cast it anywhere in the dungeon it takes you back to town and if you're if you cast it from a level that's shallower than your recall depth it asks you if you want to change your recall depth to that depth you can just buy them the shopkeeper uh, this particular shopkeeper always has 40 in stock even if you buy some he'll still have 40 in stock I know you do, you're one of us in this game. I know a whole big psychological thing that today all I can think of, like maybe it can sound like mine. Word salad and if, you, you just don't do the long sentences. <laughs> it's deep, okay, well I, I didn't understand it. Um. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of different shops too. and But this one is your home. Basically your home is just like a place that you can just dump. Items that you don't want to get rid of yet, but you aren't currently using. And then there's the, like the utility shop, the general store I guess it's called. And like, I don't know why they sell slime molds. Like they're food, but I don't know why slime molds <laughs> are food. Uh, but like flask of whiskey makes sense to me, okay, right? Like there's calories in a flask of whiskey, and you can buy torches. But they another change that they made to this game that I just don't understand the motivation for. They you used to be able to buy torches and lanterns at the general store, and basically everybody would say fuck torches and go for lanterns as fast as they could. Hey Strat, glad you're enjoying it. Um, and then they made a change to the game where lanterns are only dungeon drops now. You cannot buy them in a store except the black market. And it, it makes it so that you use torches for like the first like 20 levels of the game and it's just like, why? 
<laughs> stop, stop forcing me to use torches, you buttholes. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they made that change. Uh, so what, what do I want to do here? I think I want to drop, I don't think I need three of those books. And they're three pounds each, kind of heavy. Uh, 15 is a lot of those. 14 is a lot of those. I need to maybe not grab so many of those. I would love to put some of these treasure location rods somewhere. But I kind of want to hang on to them because they can get stolen and damaged. Ah. I think I think we're good. I think I think I just Oh, oh. But I have enough money that I can buy a stat potion if town will spawn one. So I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna kinda cheese the game, and I'm gonna have the town restock a few times to see if they sell anything valuable that I wanna upgrade. Yeah, Potion of Wisdom, it's like, I kinda want that, but Wisdom is like, my least important stat. Like, but I don't know, it's, it's like, when, when will another potion, when will another stat potion spawn in the store? So like, I should just buy whatever one shows up, right? It's like, I'm gonna max all my stats anyway. So does it matter what order I do it in? Um, were lanterns too OP? I don't know. Why do you need to kill the boss at death 100? Is he bothering anyone? <laughs> Uh, I would direct all lore questions to uh, Lomian and Squid. Uh, but short story, uh, short short answer, yeah, I think he might be bothering someone. Someone called, uh, was it all of Middle Earth? So do I do I buy this damn wisdom potion? Oh, it just feels like such a waste of... I, I, I need strength. Like, I actually need to be stronger. I don't need to be wiser. I'm gonna wait for the strength potion. Oh, feels gross. Passing that up. He's totally ruining canon by gathering all of these out-of-time characters. Must die for that. It's the worst crime. He's bothering Depth 99 music too loud. <laughs> no, no, I, I uh, reduced the volume. It's, it's not too loud anymore. Oh, you mean Morgoth. Well, that could be. There's only like two shops that I ever have anything interesting. Kind of unfortunate. hang out with Morgoth? Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life. You're a, you're a grown ass adult. If you wanna, if you wanna spend your life hanging out uh, on dungeon level 100 with a prime evil, then you know, like, that's, that's your life. It's your choice. No judgment. Melkor, was that his his name before he went to Aya? I I tried to watch a video that explained like the history of Morgoth, and I still the author talked about it, and I still didn't get it. Like why I didn't really get the name change thing. Like was he just trying to be edgy? He's like, well, Lugatar named me, and fuck that guy. 
Like, was that was that the deal? Why don't they make goths in their 20s and 30s? Wait, what? Feanor named him Morgoth after he killed his daddy and took Cimmerils. Yeah, but like, he seemed to adopt the name too, right? Maybe not. White Dragon Scale Mail of Stealth? Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool armor. But the reason I'm wearing gold armor, gold dragon armor, is specifically because it gives me sound resistance. I really just want the black market to sell uh, strength potion. Ask and thou shalt receive. Yes, Sil, uh, Sil is based off of this game, kind of. You would never be able to tell. Uh, I'm gonna cheat and look in the source code, because I wonder what this Elven Kind enchantment does. Oh, why doesn't this... Do I need to look in a different data file? Like, do I need to look in the ego items? Page up. Where is my home button? Uh, ego item. Elven, elven kind. Uh... No, it's getting, ooh, wait, really? Okay, armor. Okay, so it'll have a random high resistance. Uh, it ignores acid, electricity, ignore fire and cold. It, do, it gives you stealth, resist acid, resist electricity, resist fire, resist cold. Oh. Uh, so the, I think the, like that's not bad. It's got a random high resist. Oh wait, which, this is a shield? Oh, I was looking at the wrong item type. Okay, so it gives you, it gives you all the resistances, all the, the basic four resistances, a random high resistance, and stealth. That's really not bad, but the boots, I think the boots of Elvenkind give you speed. Wait, you can get, Yeah, if if you if you get the boots of Elvenkind, they have a speed four plus M five. I don't know what M five means. Uh, yeah. So Sil Sil also has Morgoth. Is Morgoth in both of them? Yeah. Morgoth is the goal in both of them, in fact. So my... Um, oh, the game's not. The game is not focused. Oh, wait. Oh, I did all that hemming and hawing and I don't have enough money. Oh, this is really unfortunate. If I could buy this... Well, it doesn't matter. It would encumber me. Which game came first? Angband. The, like, have you ever heard of um, Rogue? Like, there was a game called Rogue in the 80s. It was in the 80s, right? Not the 70s. And then uh, some other games started popping up that were inspired by Rogue. And hence they got called Roguelikes. And among those, uh, the two most famous that I know of uh, was NetHack, which you've probably heard of, and then Moria. And then after Moria, somebody developed Umoria. And then somebody took the Umoria source code and created Angband. And then somebody took the Angband source code, well, a lot of people took the Angband source code and created forks. Ang Angband is probably one of the most forked uh, roguelikes. 
but one of those forks was called NPP Angband, and I have no idea what NPP stands for. And then uh, Sill is a fork of NPP Angband, and then there's another game called Sill Q, which is a fork of Sill. <laughs> so, much like the first chapter of the Cimmerils, there's a lot of begatting. So then is it canon that you don't beat this game? <laughs> yeah, when I when I die in the dungeon, that's canon. Uh, okay, you guys. Um, I really I really want this metal shield of elven kind, but it ain't happening. So I'm gonna buy the strength potion that I said that was my whole purpose for being here. My special purpose, and I'm gonna quaff it. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna have strength 16. Look at that, strength 16. We are fast plus one. Uh, yeah, we can carry a lot more stuff now. That's really good. Um, but I wanted to change. This item, change this back. I think I like the multiplier better. Just go into the code and give yourself more money. Uh, yeah, there is a cheat menu. I don't even have to go into the code, I can just enable cheats. Or I can kill singing happy drunks. Or I can zap a tin rod of recall. Bleh. Oh, I'm very good at activating it apparently. Oh boy. We've got a Maiar here. Chaos, oh, I don't want a Chaos Drake. I do not want a Chaos Drake. I don't have Chaos Resistance. Poop. Um, okay, this is a much safer part of the dungeon at least. Oh shit, it's one of these levels. So every now and then the, the game generates what's called like a, a destroyed level, and they're always more dangerous than normal levels of that of their depth. <laughs> yeah, but it marks your save file as has cheated. So it's not it's not like a thing you're supposed to use. It's just they understand that the game is hard and uh, sometimes like like I was saying that like my first character that made it down to Morgoth died on the way and I just resurrected them uh, so I could keep learning the game. Uh, oh man. Okay, it sucks. There's There's something valuable in this dungeon. And it's this quartzite ring of constitution plus three. I don't know if I want to stick around. I really don't want to get breathed on by that Chaos Dragon. It, that could legitimately fuck up my character. Should have gone to bed like an hour ago. All right. Good night. Thanks for the luck. Sleep well. And yeah, hopefully I won't uh, fuck up my character or die. I mean, like, the reason I'm still here on this dungeon level is because you do have to take risks in this game, right? Like, you can't, you can't not take them. Some risks are necessary to advance.
Really? 10% failure and I fail like three times in a row. What are these, random numbers? Good, I'm getting closer to the Chaos Dragon. Where am I? Okay, I'm up here. Should I just leave? I don't feel very safe here. And I, I really haven't found anything that justifies the dungeon level of a 5. I'm pretty sure 5 means there's a possibility of an artifact. Like there's something... There's either a lot of, like, good items, or there's, like, one really amazing item. this dungeon. I don't know about the Sasquatch. I think they're pretty nasty to you. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. I bet my spells have gotten a lot stronger. I do 94 for, for Magic Missile now. You know, that was a lot weaker before. Yeah, my acid bolt is 14 D8. Nothing to uh, see that. Potions of intelligence. Wow, I am glad I did not leave. Wait, why did I teleport? That wasn't what I wanted to cast. Anyway, I should drink these before I accidentally teleport again. You feel very smart. 1890. Oh, intelligence is maxed. You see that exclamation point next to int? That means max stat. Uh, yeah, so at 18100. 200 IQ. Uh, I don't know if it's enough. I don't know if it's high enough int to really face like Morgoth. But it's definitely, it's definitely something. Um, so if I look at this book, yeah, see, I still have a 2% failure on these spells. I don't know. I don't know. That might be the lowest you can go. Hey, self is down to 20. That, that helps. That was, I think, 25 or 24 before those potions. 
teleport other 9%. That's actually useful now. I can I can cast that now. Oh, and Frostball. I didn't realize Frostball was castable now. Like, dependable. Uh, mass Sleep might... I should maybe try that once in a while. Fireball is still not worth it at 23%. Uh, I've found that, like, combat spells, if they fail more than 1 in 10, they, you're dead. <laughs> like, they will kill you. Um, so I think we want to leave. I think it's safe to say that we found what we came for on that dungeon floor. Oh, geez. What is here? I don't think I want to hang out, though. This doesn't look too, too bad. I don't know when that rod's going to recharge. are all like uh, weenie enemies. They're not like level appropriate enemies so far. Um, okay, we can use it again. Might be something interesting here. What is this potion? Restore mana. We don't want that. Scale mail of resistance. Not worth. That probably explains the um, the level feeling all by itself, though. What is that? A wand of lightning balls? I don't think we need lightning balls. They're not like I think our native spell ability is better than. Chant. I seem to recall that's actually not a bad blessing. And so it's like, just read it from the ground and move on. I haven't really played priest characters very much, but they're apparently pretty fun. Dwarven Priest is apparently a really uh, viable. are f like kill them with fire hard to remember that there's nothing about air elemental that makes me think oh yeah fire is the fire is the thing for them staff of curing 
That's um It's not that important anymore. I think when I was before I had my resistances curing items were really attractive, but now that I have my resistances, they're just kind of lost their appeal. Sap potion. Uh, contemplation. We could unmax our int. Tungsten wand of tried. Fucker. He used amnesia on me. Fully sure I know what amnesia does. Does it make me forget the dungeon? Or does it make me forget items? Uh, do I have... So this cures amnesia, right? I guess I'll drink that after I kill this fucker. Contemplation. Oh, I set that off. I guess I should stop trying to disarm traps. It's not it's not working out very well for me. Feels like 2,000 gold and runs. A jeweled ring of light. It's like plus four searching and plus one light. I've already got like, I don't know, like total of plus four light. It's like my light radius is actually huge. Much bigger than normal. It's huge. It's just another ghost. Turn of True Sight. I have one of those. Uh, it's. I might go back to using it. It's not a bad way to get C invisible.
I don't I don't exactly understand how like hold life and stuff works because I still get experience drained like maybe there's multiple levels of hold life or something that's definitely something I would I would look up and read about if I knew where to look up and read about You guys are not gonna follow me? I'm gonna turn your light on. Oh, they have they have pack uh, AI. Oh no no no! Oh no 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 no! I'm not fighting them. They're destroying my um, my readables. <laughs> They're destroying my literature. find anything useful on this floor? I don't remember. That scale mail of resistance and that potion of contemplation, that might explain the whole level score right there. So, yeah, I'm gonna kill that guy. Get the hell out of here. Try a different dungeon level. Look. Oh god, another one of these? Aw, oh, game. You're not supposed to generate them that much, are you? I suppose they could have changed the probability of running into them since I played. Okay, we want scrolls of deep descent. Deep descent into madness. Just like this game is a deep descent into my madness. We basically see the whole level. Right. MC H for acid. Oh, I'm done. This is an ancient blue dragon. Targeted. Uh, first off, let's probe this. this. Okay, 696 HP. That's manageable. Um, now let's recall the facts about it. A huge draconic form. Uh, six objects over treasures. It resists bright light, rock remover, and lightning. But not acid. Uh, can breathe lightning for 211 damage. Okay, so cast um, M E uh, It worked. We are basically impervious to its breath weapon. Like, not fully. And uh, our equipment can get damaged. G. 
You are terrified. Can we confuse it? Oh, cannot be confused. Okay, so our the special ability of our weapon doesn't help us here. You are more scared. Oh, we killed an ancient dragon. Definitely not a fight I would do when other enemies are around. Oh, but they might actually be possible. I mean, I did get lucky with casting all my buffs and they all worked like I think haste took two tries but resistances worked first try oh, that that is awesome okay just rest yes all the buffs are wearing off just rest uh, no room for it then just read it uh, what is our lowest plus Another rod of recall. <laughs> they gave me a bunch of recall items. That was the, the blue dragon of recall. So we're not that far off level 32 actually. does exactly as the tin says. Soul keeping don't really do what I expect them to do. If you're wondering why I just leave that around. It's um it gives you sustain to a couple stats. Um basically all the like the caster stats. And then strength for good measure. Executioner Sword. Killer. Killer Sword. didn't rest. She kind of always wanted rest after everything. A wyvern. I don't want to get that close. They, I don't know, like, I guess their poison's not that bad, but it's kind of annoying to get poisoned by them. Uh, what unique was that? Is it a unique? It might be something else. Wait, what am I pressing? This one. Oh, Ulfang the Black. I wonder if we just want to kill him. Killing a lot of uniques has actually been really good for making the dungeon a safer place. Like, fewer uniques spawn.
back here and become part of my Snogglehide divan. I'll watch my hit points a little bit. Acting very warrior-y here. I've actually managed to amass enough mana potions that I really should drink them once in a while when I get into a sticky situation. Just to, like, uh, lighten my load a little bit here. Terribly worried about light hounds. They're one of the weaker hounds. They don't have a lot of hit points. They don't have a real damaging attack. Their main thing is they, they can blind you really easily. And hey, I don't have to worry about getting blinded. I'm a dwarf. Did I mention I'm a dwarf and I don't get blinded? Water elemental, do you, it's not fire. Is it lightning? The elemental weaknesses are, they're odd to me. I haven't figured out the logic. Definitely fought all the good enemies. Searching for the good items. Yep. Huh. I think that's it, folks. I think I think this level's got a fork in it. Stone. Something like that. I don't know how food works. I'm actually getting kind of tired. I might... I might stop for the night. Bats of Gorgoth. They got some nasty attacks, but... I don't have to worry about them anymore. Most of their attacks affect, affect uh, casters and deal with your... Fusion blindness. Who is like? Oh. Oh, I could kill this guy while I'm here. Wait, what did he drop? A great potion of true seeing. If 
friends can't help you now. What, what is this guy I'm fighting? Uh, he seems actually kind of strong. Demonologist? Um. I'm, it seems like I'm kind of lucky that I cast haste at the start of that fight, because it ended up being a much carrier fight than I expected. And I think I'm like kind of tired and just mashing buttons too, which is not, not how you stay alive in this game. Full plate armor resistance. It's terrible for my character, but that's good armor. 62 base. So the way uh, spell casting armor wearing works in this version of Eggband, which is different than the version I grew up with, um, they take so like all the armor class stuff is like it's in square brackets right so that armor right there uh it's minus three to hit that's what that first number is so ignore that but then in the square brackets it's 62 plus 18. so that means that the base armor class for plate armor is 62 and this particular suit has an additional plus 18 of like enchantment and the game adds up your all your base values for AC across all your armor and if and then there's some function for like as that number increases beyond a certain threshold your um, your mana goes down a little bit like every time it goes up and so it, there's this kind of weird thing where I want to wear uh, items with a low base and high enchantment in order to have all my spell points so like my my gold dragon scale mail is actually really suboptimal because it's it's really hampering how much mana I have. But that sound resistance is like it's it's really juicy. I really don't want to give that up. Like if I if I actually if I take it off. Oh, sorry you guys, I'm I'm getting tired here. I might have to go to bed. Yeah, now I so that would t bump me up another uh, seven points of mana. Which, at this level, 7 is kind of, like, whatever. But, it's... Like, it would be very easy for me to be more encumbered than this. Oh, you know what, though? I'm almost level 32. Let me get level 32 before I stop playing. Except I might have wiped out all the enemies currently on this level. I don't know that I want to wait for any of to spawn. There's our stairs. Uh, I said, where's, where's the stairs? I think we want to go up because we're already on 35. Spawning next to an Umber Hulk. Boy, if I didn't have confusion resistance, that's a nasty. Like, you, you just want to teleport away. This level's a five question mark. That's not bad. There it is, level 32. You can learn 17 spells, the fire giant dies. It's interesting I leveled before it died, according to that order. Uh, 
we can learn a new spell even shield okay that's awesome okay cast e shield cast e e a mystic shield forms around your body i'm not sure i understand what that does is it just my ac is much higher right now or is it like absorb a certain amount of damage or or what Grants you plus 50 AC for 30 1d20 turns. I did the leveling. My uh, my next and my AU don't really match up anymore, though, man. Sorry. This whole time I've just been trying to get them to, to match up. Oh, thanks for the GGs, everyone. I didn't even notice. I, did I mention I'm tired? <laughs> Shield crumbled. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna stop there. Actually, if I run around this a few times, will it tell me the level feeling? Doesn't seem to want to. Give me the rest of the level feeling. Uh, the mystic. Mystic was nasty. I gotta probe him. Find out what his. Find out what spell to use on him. This guy, I wanna use acid. What do we see here? Potion of toughness. Oh, this level's a 5-3. I think I'm gonna recall the town. I don't think there's much reason to stay in this dungeon. Start anew next time. As long as I don't you know, die from playing tired. up my scrolls. Alright. Let's check the shop before we stop. Oh, there's another potion of strength. I gotta buy it. I don't think there's anything else in here I care about. Carry that many items. You can't carry that many items. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll sell you. I'll give you this tungsten wand of confused monster. You just tell me what it does. Do I want these stabs of carrying? I don't think I do. Oh, 
and I can drop off the scrolls of deep descent in my house. A uh, person on Reddit was saying you need like something like twelve scrolls to to get all the way to the interesting part of the dungeon when you're ready for that part. So we've got five. It's a little bit variable because you don't always drop the same amount with those scrolls. Um, teleport other, drain life. I have not been using that. Oh, I still have one of my stabs of curing. Okay, um, and then I probably want to drop... Wait, what? Drop. Which means I need to buy... What is this book? Okay, yeah, roll a two. What is weighing me down? Well, I guess I should just be glad that I'm not slowed. again I gotta I gotta get that strength up more because I I carry around so much shit how do warriors do it how do they carry all that shit because like aside from well I do have a a really heavy weapon and body armor but a, a warrior would have heavy everything Probably that I've got so many restore mana potions. And I started carrying that staff of teleportation. Okay, but anyway. Uh, yeah, character, character is progressing well, but this is definitely a slow part of the game. Um... Once my strength is maxed, then I think constitution is next. I mean, I'll take any potion I find, but in terms of like trying to prioritize it, in, in terms of like what helps my character the most so that I can, like, like if I could, like maybe I should go down to level 36 or something. Like I should maybe inch my way to 40. I have all the resistances to be able to be lower like I think the person that gave me advice would probably like if they were playing this would probably go down to 40 or 45 like I uh, in terms of player skill I don't know how well I can survive down there and in terms of character level I might struggle but in terms of equipment and resistances I can basically play as deep as like I feel safe And look at that saving throw. The saving throw is nice. Nice. Uh, on the other hand, we need 300,000 experience to level. I mean, we're over 200,000. So that, that makes, the way I said that makes it sound worse than it is. But I mean, we level at 300,000. The actual amount needed is only 72,000. Only 72,000. That's a lot of experience, though. Like, hopefully my stats are maxed in the next couple levels. On the other hand, uh, getting these spell failures down more would, would definitely be nice. Like, 48% failure for shield. I don't know if I'm going to be casting shield much though, but resistance, you want resistance to have a low failure rate because uh, deeper in the dungeon you're, you're going to want to have that on like constantly. And same with um, haste self, which is currently at 17%. It's getting down there in that realm where I can start reliably casting it 
for fights, but it's not quite there yet. Okay, I should... I should find somebody to raid with the host Oli. Did Squid not... Squid, did you not stream? Or did you already log off? You must not have streamed. And June's log off. And I don't see Streiser's thing. I wonder if I'm... I'm pretty sure I'm following Streiser's thing. Just taking... Wait. <laughs> Mr. Fox is doing Pace Pal scams. That's, that's a pretty good stream title. Uh, Pace Pals are... I don't know if there's anyone that actually does this in the community, but the concept of a Pace Pal is somebody who only watches streamers when they are on, like, world record pace. And the rest of the time they don't, they don't bother to watch them. That's the concept of a Pace Pal. But I like that Pace Pal scams sounds like PayPal scams. I don't know. It's, it's clever. What? Dirt Ferguson's a funny name. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to see if anybody's streaming Angband. You know they're not. Oh look, I'm the only one streaming Angband. Um, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. In the search results, I searched for Angman. I'm the only one that comes up. And it, it's, I got, I'm using a lot of tags, but the only tags it's showing me right now in that view is the Angman tag, the ASCII tag, and probe his ass. <laughs> Which, I put that tag there because I got my rod of probing. <laughs> I was going around probing all their asses. <laughs> the world is a stupid place. Uh, oh, there's, there's some people using the roguelike tag at least. But they're all playing, like, somebody's using the roguelike tag and playing Overwatch. Like, what? They must have, like, changed their stream, right? Like, or it's a joke. I guess it could be a joke. Anyway, I have no idea who to raid tonight, so I don't know, like, did just turn off the stream? Twitch, know, Twitch knows the important tag, so true. But what about, like, I don't know where to send you guys. I could search for, for Sill, but I bet even fewer people are playing Sill right now. You guys wanna watch a Mega Man stream? There's, there might not be anybody streaming Mega Man that I know. Like, so far they've mostly just been, excuse me, mostly just been Japanese streamers that I've never, never heard of. Mostly because I don't speak Japanese. I might have heard of them otherwise. Just have to kill a named mob. I'm gonna have to give Sill a try, but I I can only play one roguelike at a time, right? So like, I definitely have to finish my Angband binge before I can start a Sill binge. But I'm gonna have to try it out. Uh, I have no idea where to send you guys. I think uh, I think I'm just gonna send you guys over to Mr. Fox because I appreciate Mr. Fox's title.
You just finished Maggot Lair? Oh. Farmer, Farmer Maggot's Lair? Yeah, I'm just gonna raid over Fox. I think everybody. Well, I, sh I shouldn't assume who who knows who on Twitch. Some of you may already know Mr. Fox, and may already follow Mr. Fox. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'm tired. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Um, I stayed up really late today. I was trying to fix my sleep schedule. I've been staying up too late. So hopefully, because I'm tired now, I'll go to sleep and wake up closer to a real time. But that only lasts a day. <laughs> like, that's not actually fixing my sleep schedule if I just do it one day. So hopefully I can hold on to that. But we'll see. I constantly fuck up my sleep schedule. No matter what's going on in my life, I can never hold on to a sleep schedule. So, anyway... Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Have a great night, and we'll see you around. I'm going to keep playing Angban until this character dies, and then I'll, I'll probably stop when the character dies and go back to, like, Super Metroid and play Sill offline or something. Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.